Good morning, everybody. Sorry to keep you waiting. How you doing today? <laughs> oh, sorry to keep you waiting, everybody. Man, I had a few things happening just before the stream. Phone calls and door knocks. You know how it goes. How's everybody doing today? Happy Wednesday, the 27th. Hope you're all doing great. Thanks for stopping by. You know, we'll get into it pretty quick here. I know we'll have a guest or two today. We're going to talk some uh, bat cowls and some HRO and, of course, VV as always. And uh, the AMA that just happened a couple days ago. And, um, you know, a lot more. You know, we got some drop head giveaways again today, which is cool. And transfers are going to be coming back one day, everybody. So we'll be able to do VV giveaways again. So I'm really excited about that eventually. You know, start slapping comics back out at you and, and collectibles. Of course, that won't happen till you know, MCP opens up. Uh, but that's okay. You know, we'll wait. We're You guys have waited so far, so we'll continue to wait. But, you know, welcome, welcome. Let's uh, say hi to everybody here. Who do we got in the house today? We got lots of people. We got Growler in the house. How you doing? Oh, I love your draw. I love your... Your drop, uh, blind box, um, uh, drop head. That's great. How you doing, Growler? Just finished two rounds of disc golf. Nice, good job. How did you score today? How did you score? Double quills in the house. Sven's here. How you doing? You're not for the HRO and the back cal. <laughs> You're not for those. That's all right. We'll talk about it a bit more. A rude jog. How you doing? Let's go, fam. I'm part of VV and the cows. Only HRO missing, and I hope to get. Uh, gets available in Europe besides the UK. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm in Canada, so you got to do it through eBay or uh, Immutable X, right? Double Quill right here. HRO just tweeted that U.S. pre-orders are getting shipped starting now. Good. Well, there you go, everyone in the U.S. You're going to get your stuff. That's awesome. And for people who have ordered on eBay. Head Stash, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. We got Del Vinder in the house. We got Adams here from Long Beach. Can't wait to get your pre-order. I know it's coming, right? We got double quill. It's a good day. Feeling bullish thanks to the AMA. Yeah, me too. We'll go over that in a few minutes. Uh, I did a whole video on the AMA. If you want to watch just a recap video, really quick points. We'll talk about them today. How you doing, Growler? Five uh, five of today's comics. Nice. Uh, then they uh, they bought a secret. You bought a secret rare for 90. There you go. That's the way to do it, Growler. Good for you. Thanks, Slinger. Let's go hit the like button. Yeah, thanks so much. Hit the like button, everybody. Yeah, still have the OG uh, of that comic from when I was a kid. Wow, you do? That's cool. Matching up the real world with the, uh, you know, NFT is super fun. How you doing, Damon? Good to see you today. Miss Rose is in the house. How you doing, Miss Rose? You got the UR today. Nice. That's very, yeah. I think the rare and the ultra rare cover on this comic are like the best. They look great. Right. So, oh, that's me. <laughs> Sorry about the wait, everybody. Yeah, I know I was a slow poke this morning. I had some stuff that happened right before the stream went live. So there you go. Yeah. Congrats on getting those. There's double quill. At least you didn't say soon. I know. Right. I know. Don't say soon. <laughs> oh, Ken Penguin, you got two back cows. Nice. Yeah, I got one today, so I'm pretty stoked about it. You know, I'm going to give it a try, see how I like them, see how it works. Uh, Ken Penguin, only 39, 34 back cows minted. Yeah, so I think it, the way it works is like it, it's only open for a certain amount of time. And then once they close it, that's as many as they'll be. Right. So that's a pretty low number. There you go. Think Slinger. Yeah, somewhere far. Oh, in the galaxy far, far away. Talking Star Wars. Oh, my gosh. Jerry's in the house. Yeah, the back house secondary market will be fun. We'll see what happens there. Hi, Kayla. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you again. Yeah, not into those too pricey. Yeah, they're like 300 US. So I gave it a shot. I threw, I threw my hat in there. I'm just going to see what happens with it. I figure, you know, why not? I didn't do for, I didn't do recur or anything. So, but I, I trust, you know, DC is pretty big. So I decided to go for them to go for one. Back how equals bomb. <laughs> Having said that, sometimes the toys that bomb early turn out to be very big. Yeah. You never know. Right. We'll see Jerry. Right. Garrett says, let's go. Miss Rose, you like the intro? Yeah, for sure. I'll have more intros uh, coming. That's for sure. You grabbed one, Ken Penwing. Okay, just to play as much as anything, not expect a massive return. Yeah, we'll see what happens, right? Like, 
I'm more interested in the long term of it all, like what it unlocks. We'll talk about that too. Uh, I'd love to figure out what to do with a moon bird or a drop head. <laughs> yeah. Well, with a drop head, you can do all sorts of stuff, right? We're having lots of fun with them. It's your digital property. Do whatever you want, you know? Make shirts, make hats, sell them, turn it into a logo for yourself. Do whatever you want or just have fun with it. Alejandro, how you doing? Good to see you today. Thanks, Garrett. I appreciate that. The intro's strong. Yeah, I'll be working on more. I appreciate that. U.S. pre-orders getting shipped. HRO is going out. We're going to get more of those, everybody. Blinky Blink is here. How you doing? Execu speak. Great drop heads vid. Thanks so much. <laughs> Dream Hawaii is in the house. Oh, well, like I said, whenever I see your name, we're always dreaming of being in Hawaii with you. And uh, everyone else from Hawaii, Hinanu, Headstash, all you guys, you know, for sure. There's a rude jog. Yeah, thanks for the intro. Blinky Blink. VV Vibes, I thought I saw you in the on on the you know backstage, so feel free to jump in if you want. Kevin, how you doing? The weather's okay. It's kind of cloudyish today, Western Canada, so it's not cold up here. It's a little cloudy, kind of half sunny, but it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, it was pretty cold. Did you see my hot and cold video yesterday? Oh, I was freezing in here talking about the VV app. So cold right now, but that's okay. <laughs> There's Miss Rose heating it up with some fire. There you go. How do you do on the drop today? I uh, locked out and got a secret rare. Nicely done, Execu Speak. I've never gotten a secret rare. I got an uncommon three digit and I sold it for 7.5 gems immediately. And that's okay because I'm going to go after the rare and the ultra rare. I just do the drops to see if I can get something. If I get a common, I just hold it because I'm not selling it for three or four gems. I'm just not. So, but I got the uncommon and it was a three digit, like a number 900. So I sold that back for basically, uh, you know, retail price 7.5. So I made like 30, 30, gem, 30 cents on the gems or something, <laughs> but I won't sell under retail. I just can't do it. Oh, you got the back cow. Nice. Yeah, I got one too. I did. I totally got one today. You know, I'm just, I'm not freaking out about the project. I just, you know, I decided I'm going to earmark uh, th those funds. I put them aside and I decided I'm just going to buy one and see where the project takes me. Right. If anything, I'll sell it, you know, later if I have to. Right. You got your back cow. There you go. Slider. Let's go. Feeling bullish. Leaderboard on Vivi will be game changing. Yeah. The master collector we're going to have our on our profile. We're going to have a leaderboard. Guys, it's all coming. You just got to be patient. I just asked that. How patient are you? Right. So there we go. How you doing, Henry? Good to see you. Yeah. Pre-orders. NFTs, how you doing? Good to see you again for sure, everybody. So happy to be like hanging out with you guys on a nice Wednesday again. Here we go, Jordan. Yo, got two ultra rares and the uncommon. Nicely done, Jordan. That's great. The com the uncom um, the ultra rare and the rare covers look absolutely awesome. They're great. I mean, the comic is kind of like you know, like mid-tier, nothing too special necessarily yet. But we will see what they do with that character, right? She's kind of cool. Double quill. Here we go. Finally got a Doctor Doom FA for four sixty nine. Oh my gosh, double quill. That's Doctor Doom, everybody. First NFT, first appearance. That's going to be big, fine. Like in the long term, definitely. Great job scooping that one up, double quill. If you ask me, you've been wanting it from day one. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I I did the same thing with uh, the Joker. You know, like last week, I've been wanting the Joker ever since the beginning of, you know, the, the apps they saw it. I've managed to acquire one. So these prices are great for that kind of thing. If you're thinking long term. Hey, Bob Sales. Good to see you. <laughs> Bob Sales, you're so funny. The favorite positive person. I'm I'm doing great and you make it better, Bob Sales. Yeah, I always appreciate your comments. Okay, now I get it. Thanks. The Drophead Moonbird Board Ape Yacht Club thing. Yeah, there you go. You can do whatever you want with them. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with those moon birds, man. Have you seen those? They're like 30, 40 Ethereums each. I mean, pfft, what the hell, right? What's up? How you doing, Sun Eater? Good to see you today. Uh, Jordan got two cows on the pre-order. If it goes down, it sucks anyway, but it goes to the moon. I would like to have a sealed one to sell. Yeah, there you go, right? So, you, you know, you just keep it. it. What I got it for is it unlocks things in the future, right? It's like a pass or whatever. We'll talk about that in a bit, right? I'm buying, uh, you're buying our two cows. Keep it sealed long-term. There you go. You can do that for sure. One day I will get to be on stream with you one day. Yeah, Bob Sales, we'll, we'll do something in the future maybe. <laughs> G 
Jerry, one or two. Yeah, you can get one or two. I, got, I just got one. I just got one uh, one thing. Michael, how you doing today? Good to see you. Evening, my man. Uh, how's your day going today? Smash the drop today. Three-digit uh, common, three-digit ultra rare, and a secret rare. Wow, nicely done, Michael. That is the way to do it. That's why you always go for these comic drops, everybody. You never know. I know you don't want to get the common right now because it's going for under retail and sometimes the uncommon as well. But you still got to go for it because look at what Michael managed to do today. That's great. And if you don't get it and you just get the common, you know, don't sell it. Just hold on to it. I mean, do whatever you want. Okay, I'm sorry. You just I'm not going to tell you what to do. Do whatever you want. But I'm just not going to sell the common. If I get one, I'll just keep it and just like leave it in my vault. It's just another master collector point. So whatever. What are your thoughts on the Doctor Strange eye drop at 70 with that many editions? Seems quite a gamble drop, but I do like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not like necessarily going all in on that kind of thing. Um, I have to look at it, right? But it looks like a pretty cool drop, right? Like, I mean, it's a Marvel artifact. It's like one of the first of its kind. So we'll get other stuff. We might get Thanos' glove or whatever, right? So look, guys, we got a guest coming in here, VV Vibes. Let's add him to the stream. How you doing, buddy? What's up? <laughs> I'm gonna do this right here. Let's 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 get you on the, gonna... on the on the same level as me right here. Or I'll just put you. Uh, how about this? We'll we'll put you way down. We'll put you down there. There you go. That works for me. I'm <laughs> sitting at my desk right now. I'm like, I don't want to sit. I want to stand up. So project <laughs> my voice. It's important. <laughs> so how's it going, man? How you doing today? Thanks for joining uh, us. It's it's going good. I'm glad to hear some W's in chat because today I meant it. I think. Between my two phones, I think five or six comics, and they're all common. So it it, yeah. it, it offsets a little bit because the last comic I got, the last comic that dropped, I got an SR. So it it balances out. I sold it pretty I got an early delivery and I sold it early on the market. So nicely it, done. You gotta bring gotta bring balance, right? One day you get an SR, the next day you get nothing but comments. It, it yeah, totally. Well, so. I've never gotten a secret rare ever, man. <laughs> ever. I never on the drop. Same I've, with I, me. What is that days, drop? Yeah, this is the first. That was the first one you got. Was uh, was yeah, it's the, the first day. one ever I got. Like every, whether I bought it in the secondary market or won it on drop, that's the first one. And it was on my other phone, so I was like, because my my because my main phone has my VV Vibes account has all my collectibles, all the stuff. So I kind of want to like, you know, make sure all the master collector points I can get, I just have it on that phone, so I can kind of like maximize it. But yeah, totally. I sold yeah. it on the market right away, and then of course later that day they did the update, and they're like, "By the way, we're bringing back transfers." I'm like, "I would have just transferred it to my other account, but <laughs> it is what it is." So I know, I know. Oh my god, I'm just gonna say hi here some more. So you're cool to hang around for a while, right? I got lots of questions to ask you today, vibes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know you were on that AMA, uh, not the AMA, sorry, the the uh, the Twitter Spaces yesterday. We, mm -hmm. I heard you, you with some comments out. We did too. So good, great comments, by the way, you made. And uh, I don't know if you're around for that one guy who was really upset, but that was. That oh was yeah, I was. Bad. I was there for that. Uh, I, <laughs> apparently, that spaces was going on for a long time. So me and you sounds like at least I caught yeah. probably the last third of it, maybe the last half. I'm not sure, but it sounded like it was going for a while. Yeah, I was there. Like I think it started pretty early. Like we were. I was there pretty early on when it started. I think about half an hour in. And then, uh, yeah, I had to, you know, do, I had to do life, you know, three hours yeah. later. So yeah, but it was going late. So, uh, <laughs> did you, oh, by the way, before I get back to the chat, did you get a bat cowl? Are you in on that kind of thing? Are you no. see how uh, well, that goes? <laughs> well, at first it was, I, I haven't done a lot of research on the project. I know they're all unique. They all have different variations, kind of like your drop heads, right? Like, oh, you have a different head and then a different eyes and then a different thing or whatever, but the cows sure. are all uh, a little bit different. Um, at first I was kind of just shy away because I'm like, I'm not really familiar with the platform. First, you have to like own a matrix NFT before you can buy that. And it's like, you have to put $300 towards it. And, um, as of right now, I mean, there's a little bit of time because I heard they're going to stop the market for it. Uh, I think May 3rd or something like that. So yeah. I, I might go for it, but as of right now, it's like, look, if I'm going to put $300 into something personally, right now, I'd probably rather put it in HRO right now. That's right just now, me personally. Yeah. Yeah, that that's what I would do. But uh, like buying packs back, or buying digital stuff? Uh, probably the digital stuff. Whenever they release the new update or whatever it is, the new yeah. announcement for the digital packs, it's like I'll, I'll probably just spend the five hundred or however much I can reserve at one time when sure. it does happen. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Well, I but it might not I hurt just to do pay. that, man. I can't get it on the digital yeah, stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so I take my three hundred and I'll I'll try something else just for fun. Mm -hmm. Here's sort of the page uh, that I put together for it. Uh, claim your cowl, create a new legend. Bat this is straight from the website, okay? Mm -hmm. Batman has created 200,000 unique cowls. 
collect yours and unlock a two year journey that features a uh, features and fun. So, you know, who needs uh, returns when you have fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what's cool to next everybody. To fun too. Yeah, 300, uh, 300 US for fun. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. anytime. I got lots of uh, 300 US dollars to burn on fun. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, access exclusive products and collectibles. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Advanced mm -hmm. access to the uh, DC NFT collection. So we'll see what happens there. And collection will be integrated into future stories. So... I don't know. You know, I, I, like I said, I kind of threw a flyer at it, you know, like, uh, it's not like I have 300 us just lying around all the time, but I was like, you know what? I think I'll, I think I'll give it a go. I think I'll, I'll buy one. I've done this before with other projects too. Like, you know, I did it with, um, you know, draft Kings where I bought like a, a Wayne Gretzky puck, you know, on a drop just to try it out. And, uh, you know, that's all I've ever done with that platform, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, what they have all the autographs and stuff and, the Tiger Woods stuff and all that. I didn't go for any, any more of that stuff, but I, I got the Gretzky puck, not because I'm Canadian either. That was just the only one that was available at the time. And, and because I'm in Canada, they, I the advertising online for the Gretzky puck. I, I guess it's because I'm up here in Canada and we like hockey that they were like, Oh, oh you know, this guy's going to want this. So they kept throwing it in my face. And I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll throw a, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll throw a lawn dart out of that one and see how it goes. And it's kind of cool. I haven't actually checked on it in a while, but this one, I don't know. I'll just see how it goes, right? That's kind of my thinking on it, right? <laughs> yeah, you never know. I mean, people have thrown more money into a random altcoin, right? You know, something like uh, oh yeah, Elon Twitter Mars or something like that. I'm sure someone's probably going to be like, ah, you never know. Like, hey, he had Twitter, you know, whatever, and they throw $500 or a thousand bucks at it just to see if it explodes <laughs> one day, right? Like, exactly. people have spent more of that kind of stuff. So, yeah. But cool. Here we go. We got Del Vinder says he got two cows on pre sales. I don't get why people think that the drop isn't going well. It's 200,000 K max supply, but what isn't minted don't exist. 4,000 cows plus DC roadmap is massive potential. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I think if they don't sell out, that's probably why people are concerned, right? Because then people aren't interested, but we'll see what happens, right? And then Bob sells. Oh yeah, Bob sells is so nice. Okay. <laughs> I know you know all these guys. Guys, you know, you know VV vibes, right? Make sure you're subscribed. Thanks, bud. Always a pleasure to be here to brighten the day. Yeah, we, well, you know, I appreciate you, Bob Sales, and uh, VV Vibes is here brightening the day. Vibes, do you have do you have your drop head yet? I know you weren't. I didn't, I've been so I've been like just dragging my feet when it comes to making a <laughs> open C account. I'll be honest, but I'll I'll do it today. I, I actually do have a lot of free time. Yeah, you don't do you don't have to, but yeah, the I, open C. I mean, um, pretty simple, but yeah, some of those projects, man, the Moonbirds. If you've seen them, they're like forty Ethereum's which is like, I can't even like, I, I, I don't even know why. Like I yeah. have to look at that project, but Nike dropped a shoe one, which is wow. absolutely mental. It goes for about three Ethereums, which is like about, I don't know, $12,000, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 10 to 12,000. And uh, that's a big one that's been happening, but you know, we can talk more about that in a bit. And then uh, mm -hmm. Dean says uh, he got a rare and four common state. Well, at least you got the rare yes. because those, the, the, the rare and the ultra rare covers are actually really nice. I mean, the comic's not that great, but I mean, you know, yeah. then we got dream Hawaii vibes. Have you ever been to Hawaii? Uh, I did for football. So it was more for like work rather than just for fun and stuff. So we sure uh, like as a player, I, like you were playing football. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys didn't know I used to play college football and we actually played against uh, Hawaii Dude, at Hawaii. And you, so, played, you played college football. Yeah, American football. Wow. So for those of you guys overseas, it's American football. And so we <laughs> I played against Hawaii. So I was there for like two and a half days. So it's like we had some downtime to go out and do stuff, but it's not sure. like I was I didn't just know drinking. that man. That's that's like big time athlete here. We got we got a semi pro here, VV Vibes. That is awesome. Congrats, man. That that's a major accomplishment, man. That to play college ball in the States. Uh, well, in the States, when I say the States, I'm you know, because I'm in yeah, Canada, United but States, yeah. for you to play college ball, you know at home <laughs> but yeah, I, I, it's not like i was like drinking my ties on the beach or something crazy like that i was just like <laughs> I, it was there more for, more for work so well um, i actually um uh i watched hawaii play simon fraser university which is a, a british mm -hmm. like which is a, a university here in canada down in the lower mainland like vancouver area near the border our biggest city right down here mm -hmm. and um and they played hawaii one year because they play in the um in that they play in that league right they play yeah. in the united states uh, like you know a conference or whatever the for for college sports 
And so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, but anyway, <laughs> there we go. Bob Seal says, what's up, Vibes? There you go. I'm just going to say hi to a few more people because you, you jumped in. Uh, we got you in here early. Vivi Hawaii. There you go. See, we got the Hawaiians in here. It's oh, too yeah, bad you didn't here. know them back then. You could have, like, they could have come to your game and stuff, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Rose is saying hi to you right there. Execie speak. Everybody loves vibes. Look at this. Vibes in the house. Execie speak right here. If it makes you feel any better, vibes, I was at five commons and one secret rare. Would have pulled a big L without that secret rare. Well, at least you got the secret rare, Execie speak. Oh, it matters. <laughs> Jerry's got two com a two day common streak, no biggie. They'll they'll four times in the year. Oh yeah, sure. They'll be worth like more than retail at some point, right? Holy Hinanu with the big super chat, dude. Dude, you don't have to do that. That's amazing. What's up, fam? Can't stay. Have a good stream. Thank you so much, Hinanu. His drop head looks like it's in Hawaii right now. Look at that. He's got the hat on. He's got the background. Yeah, Everyone's he had in the Hawaii sunglasses. And did you see a Star Trek one? I think I did it before it was, I posted it. Thank you so much, Hinanu. Wow. That is so nice of you right there. So Adam yeah. right here, he just purchased a bat cowl. There you go. You know, so like I said, We'll see what happens with the project. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like I, I don't, I haven't done a ton of research about it either. Vibes. I don't think there really is a ton of research you can, you can totally do about it. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I'll, I'll throw a flyer at right. You know, I'll throw a flyer. Yeah, local, might as well. Yeah, local scalpers. A sad day for tomorrow's drop. Was hoping it's a reasonable price. Definitely skipping that one. Good luck to all going for. So you're talking about the um the Doctor Strange Time Stone. I think it's 70 yeah. gems, right? So yeah, I have Agamotto. I actually just made a video about it just before, because I was like, all right, I have 30 minutes. I'm just going to just crank out this video and just and just put it up before I jump on my collectible stream. Oh, um, nice. Yeah. You, put it, you put a video out about it, just talking about it? Yeah, I just, I just threw it out there. So I talked a little bit about just, you know, the drop. It's also cool that uh, Marvel.com or Marvel, basically, they did their own kind of like medium article version of it, right? So it's kind of nice, nice. seeing that Marvel and Disney is kind of promoting it a little bit more, right? On their online platforms and stuff, which is cool. That's um, actually at, really big. That's really interesting, yeah. right? So let me just go to um, your channel right here and we'll show, we don't have to show the video, yeah. but we'll show yeah, the- I put out the, the video, video like 10 minutes ago. So it's- Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's just, um, let's, let's just show that right here so people can go watch it. So definitely go watch this video. I'm going to watch it right mm -hmm. after the stream too then. Uh, here we go. There's Vibes' channel right there. Nicely done. So mint or pass. Vivi, Doctor Strange, Eye of Agamotto drops. So it's about 10 minutes. Nicely done. Okay, cool. We'll go watch that mm -hmm. after. Everybody, make sure you watch that after. Um, so, um, you know, don't spoil it, but what, what do you talk about? You just talk about the, just your opinion on it? Or yeah, well, what? well, I yeah. talk about well th uh, three different things. Well, first off, that if you want the physical collectible, like the counterpart, because I know VV is turning a lot of people into physical collectors, right? Uh, sure. You can actually buy the toy online for like 50 bucks. So <laughs> it's actually cheaper <laughs> than the NFT itself. But you can go on Amazon, Target, Walmart. Um, it's actually kind of cool because it's by Hasbro. You can like put batteries in it and it kind of moves and it lights up, which is kind of cool. So I know there's a lot of people that like, you know, buy the Funko Pop counterpart of like the the marvel mighties or they buy todd or whatever it is so it's like hey if you want to buy that it's readily available also talk a little bit how marvel.com is promoting it which is cool of course they don't talk about the gems or the mint numbers they just said hey this is the uncommon here's the rare this is a secret rare it's cool right go check out the oh that's that's um, awesome marvel.com is promoting it that's what we need mm -hmm. everybody to get the masses in here i'm just going to go to marvel.com really quick yep and we'll just check it out right here well, they got the doctor. Oh, by the way, I can't wait for this movie that's coming out, man. It is going to be absolutely unbelievable. Oh, yeah. No, seriously. Like it's going to, it's going to, oh yeah, here we go. Okay. So let me just share this right here just because we might as well. Right. I mean, it's mm -hmm. right here. So here's uh here's marvel.com. They got, you know, the moon Knight stuff at the top, Dr. Strange trailer, scroll down to moon Knight, which I've been watching that show. By the way, that last episode really confused me. I have no idea what the hell is going on. I don't know if you're watching it, but here it is right here. Wield yeah. unknown power with the eye of Agamotto VV digital artifact. So I know they've done some comic book stuff on Marvel uh, before dot com, mm -hmm. but this is it. We got the different pictures. Okay, we got the. Uh... Nice. So I don't know that 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 looks pretty rad. It's actually yeah. kind of cool how it's kind of mounted because I wasn't sure if it was going to be like hanging on someone's shoulders or something like that or or just kind of floating in mm -hmm. midair. So 
That's I mean, kind of cool. cool. We're, we're on the homepage of Marvel.com, so that's pretty nice. And people, I would assume, I occasionally scroll down, want to see what's the latest announcement or whatever. So that's so that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I really think that's. I, I'm trying to remember. I asked. I meant to actually ask this in the in the uh, Twitter Spaces, which I'll maybe just yeah. do next time. Which is like, at what point is VV no longer considered early? Right when people are new to the platform, like when when is it too late, or when is it like ah, oh, you, you know, these early days of VV. Um, I, I do think yeah. one of the criteria for that is like. Once Marvel, Disney, DC, once they make a, a concerted effort to really push this, like, you know, not only just digitally, like, oh, Twitter, this or that, their websites, but physically, like, you know, you go to a Disney theme park and they're actually handing out brochures and flyers like, hey, check out Vivi. Here's a list of all the NFTs we have available on the platform. Like, I oh, do cool. think that's that that's when we're going to have mass adoption at that point. Yeah, it's going to be like, totally right. Yeah. And um, right here we talked about. <laughs> so I did my little video, the marketing aspect of it. And when we were watching the AMA, they were talking about um, after they have the web app and KYC in place, they said, I remember David said, or, or what, and it wasn't David, sorry, um, the main marketing guy. I always forget his name. I can't believe I always forget his name because I actually asked him a marketing question, you know, yeah, on, Alex on Twitter AMA, right? Alex. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And so he was like, um, after they have this stuff, he said, you will notice the marketing. Yeah. Because they don't really, that. I don't think they want to push it too much until we get everything. But I wanted to ask you about this vibes. Oh sure. my god, man! This this web app is coming in May. We're actually getting the web version of the app, which I know that's like not the MTL and the KYC yet. But I, for me, that is massive because I really want to look at this app on my computer. You mean I love looking at? I'm usually on the app. Like, okay, I'm always on my phone looking at the app. You know, like for sure, like we all are because we have to, right? But wouldn't it be cool if you're at your like desktop computer and you can see it full screen and apparently the the searching features are going to be better. And this is what they were saying, right? They're going to have like, you know, it's just going to be an easier to navigate. And mm -hmm. um, and then that's like the big one. And, and just check it off the list once it gets there, then they can continue on to, you know, the KYC and MTL, their top priorities, right? So once they get, I can think it's like, it's, it's more important that like not even just the fact that they're having the web app come out or the website or whatever they're calling it it's more important that it's like now checked off the list because it's another step closer to MTL, which to me is the biggest thing holding the, I mean, we've, we've talked about this ad nauseum, yeah. but I think mm -hmm. um, I made a point yesterday when we were talking about the, in the, uh, in the Twitter spaces um, because um, there was a really good uh, comment by, I think uh, Roger, I think his name was. Mm -hmm. um, and he was talking about how like, um, the different channels of stuff that, that, you know, there are in terms of like Spider-Man and like, you know, for example, just Spider-Man, like, you know, the toys, the, the movies, there's all different kinds of people. And, um, but NFTs, I made a point that NFTs are bridging all of it. And I also thought that MTL is the one that's going to bring those regular people in. Like, you know, we have the own, everyone wants the OMI to NFT thing because we think we'll get the big whales in here that are going to buy up everything. And I think that's completely 100% true. But for the mass majority of people who don't understand crypto, we need MTL even more just to get numbers in here, like more people. And so um, if once they get this out of the way this month, like this upcoming month, it's going to be rad. Then they'll make adjustments. But now they can then focus on this stuff. Right. And I think that's what they were saying. One, two, three. So like, what do you think? Do you, are you, do you I feel like that's what, that's what they're going to do. Right. You know, just check it off the list, get it out of the way, move on to the big stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I think that the web app is just going to allow them to, to just enable much better tools, right? I think right now that they're working on the, the web app and they just have uh, a little hammer and chisel and a little wrench and they're trying to do what they can. But once they open up the web app, like, oh, now they can use a crane, now they can use a jet. The tools are going to be so much bigger and just so much easier uh, yeah. to utilize. And it's going to open up the floodgates. Like I said, I do think the web app in conjunction with MTL, it's going to be... Because right now, I think on your phone, you can only up, you know, put in five, six hundred gems at a time. You have to do it over and over and over. So it's like, what if a whale wanted to come on the platform, and yeah. they're trying to inject, you know, twelve thousand gems or a hundred, you know, a hundred thousand gems? Like, how are they going to do that? Um, yeah, just, just a little bit at a time. But once the web app is up, they might be able to allow people just to do it all at one time, right? Or maybe in, in much larger chunks. Um, yeah. Also, the cash out feature of MTL, which they can do twenty five thousand dollars a week. Now totally. people, now whales are going to see an exit strategy. Uh, much, much easier in that sense where it's like, you know, it's like, hey, I want to get on this platform. But even if I doubled my money, it would take me a year and a half to cash out because some other platforms, it's like, oh, you can only cash out 
maybe f- a certain percentage of your total wallet or only two or $3,000 a week. And it's like, why would I go yeah. on this platform? If I'm like, once I'm done, it's going to take me two years to cash out. Like, but you know, Vivi, it's like, I mean, you can technically cash out a quarter of a million dollars um, in what, five <laughs> weeks, like, uh, you know, in a, in a little over a month, like you can cash that much out, which is, which is great just because they see an exit strategy. Right. For sure. Um, for, well, for I mean, that's how much your vault's worth, right? Uh, yeah, maybe re- remove <laughs> a zero, then cut that number that. in half, and then, yeah. <laughs> Close to that, somewhere near there, right? You know, that's where yeah, you're yeah, hovering, yeah. you know, you've always, you know, right from day one, too, you know? <laughs> yeah, but I, but I really like your, because you, you brought up a good point, too. We'll actually talk about Roger's point about how people interact with their favorite yeah. characters differently, right? Which is why, for me, the VV-verse, I really want them, I'm sure that's probably in a different slide, maybe the VV-verse thing, which is, yeah. I want, I want, I really hope the VV verse is more just tools to allow people to interact with their NFTs the way they want. Right. I'm thinking like Minecraft, I'm thinking Roblox, Gary's mod, uh, a lot of like modding communities that are like Bethesda and other kind of game platforms like that, where it's like, just let the people get creative. Like just give us tools that'll be like, all right, if you lay it in this area, you go a thousand miles per hour. What is that going to look like? Can you put an NFT on there and it just flies away and then there's a net and then there's now racing and people could do maybe story more story related things. It's like, it's just, uh, I really hope the VV verse is more like that. And so you have people that um, maybe want to interact with Spider-Man and actually be Spider-Man. Some, some people might want to own a bunch of Spider-Mans and the surrounding characters because they just want to reenact the story from a comic book or from a movie, right? Um, there's some people exactly. that might want to do different stuff with the collectibles, which is why it's like, I just want them to just keep it as, just give us tools, keep it as open-ended as possible. Let some of the community come up with some really interesting stuff. Because in my opinion, I think when it comes to, you know, I'm a big gamer myself. Some of the yeah. most entertaining <laughs> and fun things in gaming is mostly community generated. I used to play StarCraft too. It's like, I used, I used to love playing all the community generated games. I'm like, the game itself is like fun. It's a little bit too sweaty and competitive for me, but it's like, I love playing like the really fun and silly, like community generated games. So I really think that's how the, I would love to see a VV verse um, oh, go in yeah. that direction. Yeah, big time for sure. And you know, we're we're talking way down the road. Right? Oh yeah, that's I mean, way down the road. Know, but it's still it's great to, to think about because that's their idea and their plan, right? So, mm-hmm. but I'm just excited, like I said, about this web app. And then look at this. Remember, this is behind him. Star Wars. Yeah. You see all the everybody's talking about it. All the Star Wars stuff behind David. There was like four items. You had BB nine E. You know, that's the evil little uh, black ball droid that's kind of like BB eight. You get the Vader, you know, you have the comic yeah. book. I think it's really likely we get Star Wars comics in the app. They're Marvel comics and they're mm-hmm, Star Wars. True. So I think it's it's a no brainer. I don't, this was not a prediction, of course, like, you know, uh, but a Star Wars comic in the app. Nice. I wonder what they would do for uh, edition sizes. They made it rare. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. dude. That would be pretty big. I mean, this comic, just so you know, this comic was worth nothing. Nothing about three or four years ago. It was like literally worth 20 bucks, 25 bucks on eBay. I mean, no joke of a lie. It was just like, you know, uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, the new movie started to come out and then uh, people started to go, oh, the comic books, you know, because the the art on these comic books is kind of weird in some of them. Like I own, I don't own the number one issue, but I own a bunch of them, like probably 50 of them or something. Yeah, you because know, the the run only went to like a hundred and something, right? At the most, like it wasn't very high, right? The, the huge run. Um, but I don't own number one. But the you know, the, like look at Vader's helmet there on the cover. It's kind of like a bit. So Star Wars fans were never like fully engaged in this comic for the like forever because this comic came out yeah. like like 1979 or whatever it was, right? Or you know, and so mm-hmm. um, it was worth nothing. And then all of a sudden the movies came out and people thought, well, wait a second um you know this comic actually is should be valuable and now it's it's pretty valuable like it's not crazy right but um mm-hmm. but if we get it in the app that would be really fun i think people would totally go for it right for sure right oh yeah i just want to stay right here hold on one sec we got Corey's sure. a new member in the house let's go thanks for joining Corey. good to see you <laughs> i know i've seen you before too right but thanks for joining again uh, Corey. make sure you uh Join the Discord server if you want and get your free drop head, right? Members get the free drop head. So you can always uh, message me on Instagram or Twitter about how to do that. And um, we'll get you in there. But anyway, yeah. yeah. So what do you think? Do you think this comment could come or? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, David, you was definitely teasing. Uh, I'm sure someone in, in chat knows what that little Empire Service droid was. I know you said it, it looked like a little BBA. Yeah, BB-9E. If you watch the, yeah. uh, the Last Jedi, um, mm-hmm. The um and uh, there was the whole movie there. <laughs> they tried to infiltrate the big ship, Snoke's ship, and then um 
there was that one little black droid that's like BB-8, you know, the yeah. you know, BB-8 space, and he kind of sounded the alarm, right? If you play yeah. Star Wars Battlefront, you know, which is sorry, you know, Battlefront 2, they mm -hmm. actually came out of uh, those two droids as heroes in the game. And everyone was like, why did they do that droid as a hero? I mean, he's kind of like, he wasn't like a, a main yeah. character, right? But that was that droid, right? So... <laughs> and and I do think Vivi is going to keep going, or I guess technically Marvel and or Disney, they're going to keep pushing this because I really think what's going to happen with Doctor Strange now, because we saw it with Moon Knight, right? We got two collectibles in a comic. So we got yes. him in a suit and then him, him with his cape and like the more, let's say, combat ready outfit. And then we had the comic. So I do think with Doctor Strange, we could get the eye of Agamotto. And then as we get closer to the actual date of the movie, we could get Doctor Strange as well as the comic. So uh, I think yeah. Strange Tales uh, 110 which is Doctor Strange, which is, that's a good comic. That's, that's a, that would be a great comic to get. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like, you know, massive grail, but it's getting there. Like I said, the more that he becomes famous, you know, you know, uh -huh. with Benedict, the actor playing him so well, and this movie, like this movie's going to be big. Like I'm not saying yeah. necessarily for Vivi, right? But this movie's going to be, I'm going to go see this one at the theater it's going to it's going to change the direction of the MCU. Like this is one of those mm -hmm. pivotal movies I think that's really going to set it all up cuz if you watch the most recent trailer, the Illuminati group is now 100% confirmed because um you know, it's literally spoken in the trailer, uh the Illuminati will see you now. And then he's taken up there by all the Iron Man uh sentry bots, which is a version of Iron Man. So Iron Man mm -hmm. is in this movie everybody, 100% confirmed. The Illuminati group has got Professor X, Mr. Fantastic, Iron Man. Uh, we don't know what, what version of Iron Man, right? Mm -hmm. And like, it's literally 100% confirmed. So there's no guessing anymore. Oh, the Illuminati group, it could be up there. It's literally spoken in the final trailer. Literally the word uh, Illuminati group. And then there's the Living Tribunal, which is like another um, kind of background thing that they were going to put in uh, Infinity War, which is like this entity in space. It's really complicated, but there was a little mm -hmm. blip of that. And um, so, you know, this movie is going to like totally. And by the way, there's tons of zombies in this movie. Marvel zombies is they're officially in this movie. And yeah. their what if season two is coming and we're getting a whole Marvel zombie show. So, you know, Captain America zombie and zombie hunter mm -hmm. Spider-Man, like all the stuff we're going to get. So the VV app is just sitting here giving us everything. Right. And now in terms of value, though, we need MTL. And like I said, the web app is number one for me. That oh, was yeah. uh uh, not number one, but the web app was the number one, the number one thing to check off the list. Now mm -hmm. we can, they can move on to this and hopefully get us there sooner. So, and then we got the transfers. You mentioned it, right? You're going to do, mm -hmm. you, we got some transfers now. Like, you, you, it's too bad. kind of wish I didn't sell that secret, right? But you know, it is what it is. I can now, I guess I could now technically rebuy it for a cheaper price and then still transfer it over. But um, yeah, now that I have the gems, it's like, eh, do I want to hold it, buy something else, buy, buy a different secret rare or buy some other, um, comics in the meantime but yeah i'm excited for transfers again i know the community loves it people love um you know giving away their extra comics that they may have gotten you know doubles or triples of you know hey, I, I got totally. you know, four commons and a secret rare I'll, I'll give you a common to give away just for fun and you, you know you've, you've done that before where it's like you'll spend 80 percent of your stream just giving away people are like here's another one here's another one here's another one just yeah like, that oh, last yeah. stream before they shut them down where there was 20 giveaways oh <laughs> It was so fun. I think you caused them to be like, we got to disable transfers. My collectibles yeah, it was, it was is... me. I called them up Rooting. and I'm like, guys, I can't do this anymore. No, no it was yeah. so fun. Just cut the cord. That was like the funnest thing ever. And then like just coincidentally right after that, it was like, you know, look at this. Mm. We got an NBA NFT revealed today in three hours. So that's on the open sea. In case Ooh. people don't know what that is, that's the NBA one. So the, like you said, vibes, get on the open sea, man. Hold on. I'll just do this right mm -hmm. here. So let me just show that if people want to see that, it'll just be one sec while we chit chat. But the NBA, yeah, like I said, big time. I don't know how far it's going to go, but let's just, I'll just uh, share this right here. There's a lot of money you could spend on the open sea, you guys. Oh, yeah, I, so I've you. heard, yes. Look at Moonbirds right here, 24. Okay, they were higher earlier, so they're coming down to earth a bit, but the mutant apes mm -hmm. are up there. I mean, it's nuts. And then we scroll down. This is the top one. I always look at the top 100. The association is right here. I should buy one of these because I actually have enough. Uh, I have 0.2 Ethereum right now. So here's the association, a collection of dynamic NFTs. This is, this is verified. It's the NBA. And these are going to be revealed. So you can mm, see the activity on stuff. it right here. Let me see. 
two minutes ago, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, three minutes. So you can see people are buying these up for about three or 400 bucks a piece and they'll be revealed. And, um, I should probably, um, I should probably buy one of these while we're on stream right here because, uh, this yeah. is not, this is so, not so wait, people are buying these. They have no idea what it is yet. They're buying. Well, them. they understand the project. So the project is yeah, like, yeah. you know, um, they're, players and teams and stuff like that. And like they change over mm -hmm. time and, uh, but they don't know which one they got. Right. So it's kind of like a blind gotcha. box, right? It's that's sort of mm -hmm. the reveal. So a lot of these projects will do that. They'll, they'll come out. You'll, you'll buy into the project. You'll mint one or whatever. Right. Uh, and on the white list. And then it shows up here on the open sea. And then people like me who are, you know, or you who haven't bought it yet, who didn't get on that white list. They can buy it off of those people before they even reveal it. And sometimes the reveal like explodes it and sometimes the reveal sinks the project right really yeah. grand. so I, this is the nba though everybody so i don't think there's any um any problem at all and if we look at the items in the buy now i know we're not talking vv right now but so if we hit buy now right here you can see that it says 0.13 is the floor price but check it out right here uh these two are pretty much gone it's actually 0.14 so it's actually gone up to 0.14 a bit, right? So mm -hmm. um, they're they're flying pretty good. You know, there's 0.13 again. So anyway, I might have to jump in and buy one of these. Uh, you know, with my uh, with my mm -hmm. account here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, once I, you get I, I on like the road, the man, you can't like once you get in these NFTs, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, yeah, you know how it is. OpenSea is a project that you can get lost in very easily, or just the whole platform uh, as well. Not like I yeah. I not a huge NBA fan. Like I'll definitely watch it. Like I'm uh, watching the finals and stuff right now, especially, you know, watching the, the Suns play right now, me being a Phoenix, but. Uh, oh, they're in trouble, other... my friend. They're in trouble. Yeah, they are. Devin not Booker's like... not, he's injured, right? So they're. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least my, my I... Lakers weren't even in it. So whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got to always do that, you know, in sports. Like even if your team's not making it, you got to, you got to talk smack uh, against other people's teams, but. Oh yeah, big time. It, it is what big it time. is. Um, uh <laughs> But yeah, so I'll have to look into that. Uh, the Batman Cal thing does interest me, but it's it's just so hard to keep up with all these different projects. People are like, oh, have you heard of this this thing and then this thing and this thing? I'm just like, I'm not even on OpenSea. That's probably why I haven't heard of a lot of them. It's because yeah. I'm not really on OpenSea. I'm kind of just focusing mainly on VB and HRO and then maybe Alluvium. I haven't done a lot of research on Alluvium, to be quite honest, just yet. Yeah, me neither. Uh, but it seems pretty, pro yeah. seems pretty promising, especially totally. as a here's, gamer. Here's V Friends right here, Series 2. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's um, Gary V, right? So uh, there, this one here is number five in the world in the last seven days. You can see on uh, OpenSea. And so he's got his uh, stuff right here, right? These are all these mm -hmm. little dooder dadders. And that actually, it's 0.75. So his other one is worth a lot. So wow. people are probably jumping on that. But the mutant apes, like this is the thing we were talking about, right? So, so you know, the Board Ape Yacht Club, 146 Ethereums, okay? And so like... What this is, is not even, it's not, this is not a collectible, a digital art anymore. This is like, uh, you know how NFTs are going, right? This is the past, mm -hmm. right? The, the NFT is the link now, and this is what big projects have to do if they want to be successful. It has to be a link to something else that's happening, right? It can't just be mm -hmm. like, you know, it can't just be like, oh, uh, this is just a nice collectible for you to have. You, there has to be something to it for it to get really big on the open sea. Now, VV might be different because we have the IPs and so people will collect Spider-Man and comics and just collect them and read them. Like the comic books don't have to be, you know, uh, your access pass to like some whatever, right? But yeah. on the open sea, uh, Board Ape Yacht Clubs, for example, if you own one, like, you know, then you got all that ape coin. Uh, you got all of, you got tons of ape coin, which is, if you guys have followed crypto, it's gone up a lot. Uh, especially last couple of days it went up and then I think it's come back down a bit, but it went up from like, went up to like 24, uh, like about 20, it went past the $20 us mark. And like, mm. I, I bought some at like eight or nine, right. Dollars. So, yeah. uh, just, but not much. I mean, I, I bought yeah. like 30, right. Cause you know, I'm just like, whatever, I don't have a lot of money for that, but you know, that kind of stuff, you get that, but then you get all the different benefits and you get the, you get access to things. It's like a pass. And then of course you get the digital rights to do whatever you want with. So a guy opened up a restaurant with this board ape artwork and he like called it, you know, uh, board, board and hungry. And it's like mm -hmm. his board ape as the branding with all the French fries and all that stuff. And like, you know, so he literally used the branding of the board ape because they're so recognizable to create a restaurant. Now he's probably going to do a chain of them bored and hungry. Right. And you, and that's a great name 
and if the food is good, I mean, you can see the possibilities, right? So, yeah. um, so that's why some of these projects are so interesting, but of course, most of them die as we know, like in any project, they just die. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you kind of like have to pick and choose your ones. I own alien yeah. friends. I own two of them now because they give me some fun stuff and, uh, they're just, I like the art on the project, but, um, they're not, they're not like, you know, 10 Ethereum. So like one or so one to two, mm -hmm. I sold one at 1.8 and I bought it at 0.25 in December. So I made about $5,000 on it. That's awesome. <laughs> that was like about a month ago. I sold it. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to sell it, but I was like, no, I'm going to take that 5,000. And I started, you know, put it into VV and other stuff. Right. So, so look, Corey just joined the membership. We're excited to see what Let's drop go, you get. Yeah. So go on the discord server, Corey, if you know how to do it on my channel, there is a link you know, on a post and uh, that I put for, it says join discord, click the link. And if you have trouble with that, just DM me, I'll send you the link and then we'll do your random draft, Corey. So thanks for joining. We still got to get vibes his, you know, <laughs> I've been dragging my, uh, I think we no, I haven't one, got, right? No, not yet. I mean, I was a part of a membership, but I haven't made a open C account for you to even like give me one. Right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm still dragging my feet. Like I said, I'll, I'll do it today. I, I have some free time later today. But. Yeah. So what, so it's, it's all good. I'm just teasing you. Right. So yeah, I know. what are your thoughts on the, on the Dr. Strange? So 70 gems, what do you think vibes? Are you going to go for it tomorrow or what? Uh, well, in my video, I did talk about it. I'm like with, with the 70 gem price amount, I do think some people are going to, you know, just like comics, but it's just a higher price point. I mean, it's 10 times more expensive than a comic. Um, they might just yeah. pull, like I said, I just, you're just pulling the slot machine, right? You're just like, I hope I get a secret rare. Um, I, I guess my price prediction was probably like, I do think the common um, will probably, again, pure speculation, price predictions. I even made a video not too long ago talking about how price predictions are kind of silly, but fun to do. Cause like, there's so many factors that go into like, that could affect it. Cause Right I when know, they released watched that video, it was a great video, dude. It was yeah, like, <laughs> like, you know, because when the Agamotto drop happens, you know, it's you know, prices are going to be going up and down and all kinds of stuff. And then all of a sudden, maybe four hours later, they're like, oh, yeah, here's an actual Doctor Strange announcement drop, you know, 3D digital collectible of yeah. actual Doctor Strange FA. And then that could cause the price to tank a bit, right? Sure. Um, but I, I think the com the uncommon, which is the closed eye one, probably go for like, I think. 30 to 40, maybe 45 on the high end. And then the yeah. the rare, which has the open eye one, which I think most people would want. Um, we'll probably go for a round box price. I could see it like slightly dipping below of going to like 60 or 65, but it might settle around 75. Maybe totally. a secret rare. I have no idea. I was like the secret rare. It's so hard to tell because it's super limited, right? It's 2,110, which is pretty that, limited. That's, a low, the other two. that's a low for a collectible. Yeah. Um, and I noticed they put the 110 at the end because it was 2,110, which is the first appearance comic, uh, Strange Tales 110. So I think they put the 110 at the end because of that. That's nice. Cool. Yeah, I didn't catch uh, that. Good good catch on that vibe. Yeah, yeah. Vibes has got the mind, everybody. He did the video about it. Did you put uh, that well, in the video? I did. <laughs> right, I, nice. I, mentioned it in the, I mentioned it in the video. The only reason I even yeah. think that way is because, honestly, I watch a lot of VVM3 videos. So he, he does a very good job of making connections to, to certain things yeah. or Easter eggs that they do. You uh, should do the collectibles. You should be our collectibles because he's got the comic book sort of down. I know that mm -hmm. Comics and Crypto does their sort of like holder, hodl or whatever, sell mm -hmm. videos, which are cool. And uh, you could be like the collectible one. You could like, you know, do a, mm -hmm. every time we get a collectible drop, you could break it down. Yeah. I think VVM3 does it I mean, all. He does work, collectibles but... and, and com yeah, it is. And every drop, and especially when, you know, a year from now, if we're doing multiple drops a day, I'm like, video, video, video. <laughs> yeah. It'd be kind of hard, <laughs> hard to keep up with it. Uh, at a certain point but the secret rare it's yeah. so hard to tell like i could i could totally see it going up to like maybe 250 maybe a little bit higher than that because it is a very significant artifact and like the whole marvel thing but at the same time like yeah. if we get an announcement or for whatever reason i could also see it hitting like 150 you know it's totally it's so hard to tell i'm just kind of curious how the market plays out well, the artifacts that we could get are limitless. I mean, we could get Captain mm -hmm. America's shield. We could get Thanos's, yeah. you know, uh, glove. You know, like the the gauntlet. You know, with the with the stones. I mean, mm -hmm. we could get we could get Iron Man's helmet. I mean, we there's so many different things that we could get. We get Thor's hammer. I mean, they could be they could be anything, right? I mean, um, so mm -hmm. like this starts off obviously something that they're gonna do because it's artifacts. It's like a new sort of collectible sort of train you know i kind of agree with you on the prices i definitely think the commons gonna go for under retail i just think it's mm -hmm. this is the way the market is right now you know it's totally yeah. fine if people want to do that they're going for the secret mm -hmm. rare i do think the rare like you said will be close to the drop price i'm just you know just guessing 
Um, yeah. you know, I would assume, right. I mean, um, and then of course, yeah, the secret rare will be probably double or something. I mean, I would assume, you know, but it is low, like in terms of collectibles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's that's low edition. So yeah, we'll see what happens on that one. Right. So here's a question from Damon though. What position were you playing in football? Uh, I, I, I answered like right below him. I played, uh, oh, my okay, first three sorry. years. No, oh, sorry. here you go. Here you go. My, yeah. First three years I played free safety. Then my last year I, I, uh, got a bit bigger. So I played strong safety and, and mostly the guy in front of me graduated. So I was playing free. He was playing strong for the first three years. And then once he graduated, I moved to, to strong safety. And he moved so, up. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. We got Hughes who got nine for nine on the commons today. It happens. You got your master collector uh, stack going though. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. He, I mean, you know, like we know the commons people aren't going for them in the drop. Mm -hmm. So uh, feel for you, buddy. That's okay. But don't worry. I, I, the, the, I've only gotten like my drop success on comics, of course, before, you know, with all the bots and stuff, I got nothing right for months, like mm -hmm. all the rest of us. Uh, but now because we're getting every single one, I've been getting just commons. I did pick up an, an uncommon today and it was a three digit. So I sold it for 7.5 gems because, you know, I don't need that. Right. Like I want to go yeah. for the rare or the ultra rare. I, the secret rare on this particular comic to me isn't attractive looking like I don't understand mm -hmm. why they would put that art on the cover of the secret. Yeah, it's rare. Like, like the mom or her like hugging the kids or something like that. Yeah. Or... I mean, like what's with that. Right. So like I'm not predicting a lot for the secret rare. Um, this mm -hmm. one, I'm thinking the ultra rare is the one to go for. Like if you want to get this comic. And uh, cause it just looks so great. And then of course, you know, the other one that bothers me about a secret rare in the app is the Deadpool number one with like, what's her face on the, as you know, I mean, come on mm -hmm. you guys. Like, can we, can we get a nicer, like, I'm not, you know, me about Vivi. I love Vivi. Yeah. That, but, like, you could do a way better. I mean, Vivi in three, he, he tweeted about the cover that he would have loved to see on the secret rare for this comic. Oh, yeah. Right. It was like, you know, I mean, there's so many different things you could do. So, but whatever, they have their reasons. Who knows why we'll just go with what they go and then the market will buy it or not. And it mm -hmm. definitely the secret around this comic is probably going to be right at the bottom of uh, all of the, you know, it's, you know, it's probably, and I hate to say it, but it's probably the worst secret rare cover we have. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Okay. Let's just be Sorry, honest. Sorry, Zeki speak, but yeah, I, I would agree with that because he said I, he finally got a secret rare, but yeah, no worries. Like if, you know, if it's great in terms of still great for value, if you want to sell it mm -hmm. or whatever, right. You still get lots of gems getting the secret rares are nice, you know, cause people will collect all of them. But I like the, um, you know, I have to tell you, I, yeah. I like the, the ultra rare or the rare. They're, they're super cheap. So, but you got that secret rare of the um, Silver Surfer. I and, did. It was... Yeah, and you sold it, right? Which is totally I... cool because it's not a extremely valuable comic, but that's a really nice secret rare though. I like that because it has, um, you know, the name. What's his name again? Um yeah, uh, I keep the, my mind goes right to Gore, the God Butcher, who's holding that yeah. sword from him. But it's Null, right? The symbiote. No, yeah, yeah, and so yeah, and so that that okay, his mm -hmm. like the sword that he was battling in the comics, like he's got like the all black, which is like a symbiote thing. It's like a sword, like gore mm -hmm. who's the guy who the main villain in the thor movie coming up which is christian bale right you know yeah he wields that that symbiote sword from null right so it's all coming together it's all part of the storyline that that's going to be mm -hmm. thor you know the the new thor movie love and thunder that's the main villain is gore he's running around oh, yeah. the problem with gore this guy is that he like worshiped gods and then he witnessed gods fighting and one of them like was getting beat and one of them asked him for help and he was like starving and poor and everything. And so he was really pissed off that this God was like needed help. And so he ended up like going on some rampage across the universe. You know, this is the very generic basic story, yeah. killing as many gods as he can. People like <laughs> Thor and the rest of them, right? Because he was now realized that they suck. And he had this symbiote sword that like kind of empowered him, right? So, I mean, he's in Thor, Love and Thunder, but it goes back to Null, this guy, right? Like you can just Google mm -hmm. it, right? I mean, that's the very, you know. Yeah, well, that's real, the whole... Yeah, <laughs> multiverse of madness thing, right? We could actually have multiple villains kind of playing out certain parts at the same time, right? At least I would think so. And then, of course, it's all yeah. going to kind of circle back around to one, maybe one or maybe a whole um, uh, council of villains or maybe a Sinister six, six kind of thing, except they're actually like more powerful than a Lizard and a Goblin and some of those guys, right? Oh, sure. So, Who knows uh, it could get to that happen. point. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, so like, you know, in the trailer for the Doctor Strange, we have like, the, the Doctor Strange, it looks all kind of monster-like and he, he shows mm -hmm. all the multiple arms. It's all black coming behind him. And there's like skeletons and stuff. Well, that's a throwback to Doctor Strange's ability when he fought Thanos, when he like split into all those different people 
a version mm-hmm. of himself and then he lassoed him. Well, when he first goes to split, all the arms come out from behind him, right? Yep. It's exactly the same, but this is like a, this is like a, a zombie version of him. Apparently I watched the whole break. Mm-hmm. I actually posted a breakdown video. Somebody else did on Twitter. I just shared it because it's such a great video. I could probably show it here, but it kind of breaks down the most final recent trailer and uh, it's really cool. I mean, you know, we'll see what happens, but mm-hmm. the zombies, dude, it's going to be yeah. so cool. I mean, like, you know, we're just getting so much stuff coming in the future with VV, right? It's cool. Like, look, at here's Bob Sales does like Hinano's drop head with the glasses and the, the Hawaiian one that we mentioned, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I think Jim Lee is involved with bat, the bat cowl. Okay, Jerry, cool. Awesome. And and Jerry's also been lost with Moon Knight since the first 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going. Did you see that last episode with the hippo, uh, whatever the hell that was? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to watch some sort of like breakdown because like, honestly, I know a lot about Marvel and comics and stuff, but not not as much as like like a lot of people. But I have no idea what the hell is going on in that series. And my yeah, wife and kids hippo? are like, we're Marvel heads, right? We we yeah. watch all the breakdowns and we're just like, what the hell? Like, you know, like, I, I think I've read one. I watched one video that thinks that the hippo might be that one lady that was helping him. Remember one of the goddesses that was like the I goddess of so. love or whatever. Yeah, that it might could be her. Be her. I don't know. But yeah, her voice like seemed her uh, different, like higher or something. Uh, so mm-hmm. I said that too. I said, well, maybe that's late that the lady who's helping him. And now he's sort of stuck in this. And then what's in that third and... sarcophagus? Like, who's that third? I know, know right? Personality or that third person? Who is it, right? Like, I don't like, there's one thing, right? Like, I don't like to be confused the entire time. You've got to give me something. Like, Mm -hmm. like, come on, Moon Knight. Like, I I haven't even seen him jumping around that much, kicking everyone's ass. Like, give us some more Moon Knight. (laughs) Like, I agree. Shara 107's here. How you doing, Shara? Look, I love her drop it too, Mr. Mr. Emo, right? Emu head. I can't wait to see which one we get for you. uh, Maybe we'll, we'll have to get you one of the bald ones. If if that's so be it, I don't know. I, I mean, you could tell me it's random and it's not, and it looks just just like me. Yeah, um, I'll just say, oh, I, this is just random, right? Yeah, agree. We're no longer. A, yeah, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I said like you said there was a Star Trek one, right? Like, are there's like a well, Star Trek theme portion well, or just Keanu, someone? Did? Right, just uh-huh. art worked it up and he put like a star, uh, star to put him in the background. I remember that. I remember that actually. Yeah, it was pretty funny. People are doing some goofy stuff with them, right? So Bob Sales agrees. We no longer early when we get advertising. The web app MTL will all be millionaires. Well, I hope so, Bob Sales. That's what I'm hoping, but we'll see what happens. And Jerry says, back in 77, Star Wars number one disappeared from the newsstands fast. Yeah, so the comic, yeah, you're right. It was, you know, but like in terms of like, you know, putting it up against like super valued comics, I just Mm -hmm. remember it being like worth nothing for the longest time, right? (laughs) It was popular, but not valuable, it sounded like initially. Yeah, for collectors over time. I mean, it only started getting that way around 2017. 2016 when they started to announce the newer movies for so it didn't even like pop off with uh you know the prequel trilogy which was kind of weird mm-hmm. right bob sales is hoping we'll be millionaires i'm i hope so too bob Me sales <laughs> hopefully the web app is good for loading nfts because my app keeps crashing yeah no doubt that's one big problem with the phone i know you feel the same way too guys because we all do it's all glitchy all the time especially lately if you oh, notice yeah. lately it's been glitched out a lot and, mm-hmm. um, you know, you go to like check out your listings in the market or whatever, and the th- they don't load. And then you have to go back in and out. And I even got like, you know, what the most annoying things in the world for me is that having to log back in. I hate huh. having to do that on anything, like anything, like personal mm-hmm. banking. I have to go, oh, I got to go get my card now. And I never yeah. remember my login info usually right off the top of my head. So I have to go look it up. And then, and then. but anyway, it's minor inconvenience, but the web mm-hmm. app hopefully will be a nice interface, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you, what, what's your big plan for today? Vibes? Are you, uh, are you live streaming later today as well? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be live streaming, um, later today. I don't know. I'm more recently just been kind of winging it. Uh, I kind of just talk about whatever chat wants to talk about. Sometimes we'll, yeah. we'll look at certain drops or certain NFTs. Sometimes we'll look at HRL, sometimes BV. Um, cause before I was very just like market, 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 but right now, you know, things are kind of plateauing. Things are still looking pretty, uh, not necessarily bearish. I think we're kind of over the bearish market, but now it's like, we're just kind of waiting for a lot of these big things to hit, right? Like MTL, we're waiting it's for the web. It's freezing in the app, dude. Yeah. The app is cold. It's, it's you might freezing. Freeze <laughs> yeah. I remember you were wearing a scarf and all that stuff. I'm like, is the AC or like, is dude, the heater disabled or what's going you on? You should have seen my first attempt at the video. I had a toque on and a sweater. And I was literally oh getting gosh. too hot in my uh, studio. So mm-hmm. I was like, and then I had to take the sweater off. And when I took the sweater off, it exposed my belly. 
And I was mm. like, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to air that video. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, one thing, and you should probably, if you do have a lot of bloopers like that, one thing I was going to do with my videos, which I was going to do it for my members, which is like post a video of just all my bloopers or all my outtakes, or it's just like, I say something incorrectly or what, and just make it a private video that only members can access, which I think would be kind of funny. So yeah, it's I like, know. it's kind of an extra tidbit where it's like, you get to see, yeah. it seems easy, but you kind of like, you know, you, you miss, you miss say something or your 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 voice cracks or you're just like going off on a tangent i'm like wow i just went on a three minute tangent i didn't talk about anything related to the topic and i'm like all right i gotta re-record and all that stuff like <laughs> I, I do have like video editing software but like um yeah part of me is just like i'm just trying to get the video out now and like it does take a while for me to like uh, render the video and upload it and all that stuff so it's like i just want to totally get it right, right the first time that'd be fun look at him moon says is happy to see dc admitting we got the first dc nfts Yes, and of course, once they add them to the, um, you know, uh, immune scan, scan and all that yeah. stuff, it'll just show it, so it's no big deal. I don't, you know, I mean, I know people, I, I know people have been talking about that as like really important and everything, and it is definitely for people in the know, right? I, I don't mm -hmm. think that that's like, I mean, it's going to be more important in the future when we have like even more Batmans, you know. But can you see the price of Todd right now? Did you see this like yeah. four thousand? It's like, really I don't have 4,000 gems, but I, I was trying to get him at uh, 10,000. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I almost got there. Instead, I bought two Supermans instead because I just couldn't get there. It went up to 11, 11 and a half. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, crap. Okay. I'm so happy I didn't get him. Even though at the time, if I did get him, I'd still own him. And I would be like, whatever. Because uh, yeah. I wouldn't sell him anyway. But, you know, I, I, I got two Supermans instead. So I'm not complaining, of course. Mm -hmm. But like 4,000 for Todd. I mean, oh my God, it's so awesome. Yeah. Like, can you believe how this is fantastic for people not to sell, of course. You know? mm -hmm. the bot, yeah, it's an excellent opportunity for people that are buying. You know, yeah, I do, you I do feel bad. No, I do not have a Todd. Yeah, I don't uh, either. I know we're uh, rookies, I, dude. We're so everyone thinks we're experienced. We're we have don't even have a we don't even have a Todd. We should just close our channels. Yeah. Just shut well, the channel all, down until I get a Todd. <laughs> it's all the VVOGs that kept them all locked up. They're the ones that bought 40 of them and then they slowly sell them off. You know, people, the same thing that people do with comics, except it's just on a much bigger scale, right? Just, yeah. just gem wise. So that's why I've been saying for a while, like me personally, like Todd is still a huge deal. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But I do think there are more people stacking Todd's than, you know, at Secret Rare Aston Martins or Secret Rare Comics, which is why. It's like if I had an opportunity, like I'm buying up Secret Rare comics, so it's very specific ones first before I kind of jump into a Todd. Though, yeah. who knows? If Todd gets cheap enough, I might be like, look, I just want to buy it and just like be done with it and well, not you, have to worry yes, about the price going up and down. You're going after the Secret Rares like me. I am going after all the Secret Rare comics that I can. Like, not, you know, mm -hmm. I might not go after the one today. <laughs> yeah. Like, I have to like looking at it in my, you know, mm -hmm. Like I have to like see, I like, you know, I like to see it there. And you know, the, the, the one, the one that I got the Puma one, like from a day or two ago, I bought it because it was like 100, you know, and it's amazing yeah. Spider-Man. And I actually really love the cover, like the common cover. Like I love the common and the uncommon and the uncommon is like five gems. And so I, uh, I'll be stacking probably 20 of those because it's just easy M MCP points. It's just simple. And I get like to get my comic numbers up. So I'll probably stack that one. But this comic today, I'll probably grab the ultra rare and just one of them, you know, just, mm -hmm. just have one. And then it, and the silver surfer one, I'm debating whether or not I should get the secret rare that you, that you got on the drop. If I should get that yeah. one, because it looks so cool. Or if I should just go for the rare, because the rare cover to me with him all silver like that, with the fantastic four, like reflecting yeah, like reflection. Yeah. Yeah, That's and the two cool MCP one. points, it's like 20 gems. Um, I probably will just snag that one because, you know, just keep that in the vault, like just as a rare, just for MCP. Mm -hmm. And also it'll be worth more than that eventually, right? Like, you know, for sure, right? So um, here's what Adam says here. I can't even put all my collectibles in the VV vault. Crash City. I know, right? Like, Crash I wonder City. if it's the phone or if it's what, because like, yeah. So what would we be able to do? Here's a question for you, Vibes. I don't know. I don't know if you know the answer or not because I, I don't know the answer, but... Do you know if with the web app, we'll be able to play with our vault there? Because that would be way better. We can, you know, with yeah. our mouse, like be able to like drag and move. And can you imagine the, 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 the vault, if you can, like, obviously I think we can, we should be, we should be able to do everything we can do. Yeah. I was so the vault images and the sharing of is going to be way bigger now, way better in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Do you think we'll be able to? I think so. I think that was one of the reasons why they wanted to do it on there. And like the Vaultaholics were like really pushing for like the web app, you know, stuff like on the yeah. website. So not only can you, 
um, do it much easier, just manually do all this. I think it probably add more tools so you can actually do certain things with it. Also, it's yeah. going to be easier for editing, right? Like now you can actually, uh, I'm sure you could probably find a way to project your phone to your computer and kind of do some fun animation stuff. But now that it's on the computer, sure. like the community related content, if people want to get really creative with uh, certain things, they definitely can. So I think it being on the computer or being able, people able to be able to manipulate their, their vault through the computer is going to be like a huge, huge deal. Oh yeah, big time. ExecuSpeak did a bit of research on the cowl and decided to snag one. There you go. It's a risk, but I like the roadmap. Yeah, for sure. I think it's. I think there's some future potential there. Mm -hmm. So you know, I snagged the cowl. Just, just why not? And Jerry says there's a lot of great art in the Star Wars comics and a few great keys. Yeah, for sure. Like you know, there's one comic that everyone thinks is Boba Fett on the cover, and it's not Boba Fett. <laughs> it's actually another bounty hunter, but it looks exactly like Boba Fett. The Boba Fett's in there, and it's not his first appearance either. And people say, oh, Boba Fett Star Wars. It's like him on the cover, and there's Leia down the bottom. It's kind of yellowy, yeah. and it's like basically Boba Fett. But that's not, not actually Boba Fett, right? Yeah, so that's a big misnomer there. But the one where there's the three of them, where it's Boba Fett and the two other bounty hunters, that's his first appearance. That's actually a very valuable comic, too. Both of those are, actually. But the other gotcha. one with him on the cover, it's like not actually Boba Fett on the cover, but he's in it. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah, there's, there's some, also some wacky art in the Star Wars one, some really yeah. bad art, but there's also some really great art. So yeah, it's it's an interesting series, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I know I posted that video in the uh, content creator chat. Did you have a chance to watch that that video about the uh, Star Wars and it like that the tracking computer would like never work or whatever? <laughs> no, I never that? saw that. What, was yeah, that you on should, your channel? No, no, no. It's just something I linked in the, the, the Twitter content creator, like private chat. Oh, no, you know, I never saw that. Group. Yeah, in the, in the chat. Yeah, it's, like, it's like 12 minutes long, but it's actually super interesting. It, it makes me view the whole fight. You know, the first time the, star, the Death Star blows up, it makes me yes. view the whole fight very differently. Yeah, the uh, targeting computer. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I haven't watched that yet. That's cool. It's yeah, really I good. It right there. I didn't know what that was. Exactly. I saw the uh, Tusken Raider uh thing that was kind of funny but yeah i'll yeah, watch yeah. that then that's cool it makes it changes your opinion about the the movie though that, yeah it's that just cool. something that like if you haven't seen it in a long time but it's just um he kind of just brings up a different lens and in, in the sense of not to spoil it too much but there's so much foreshadowing before that where you they say it probably five or six times like no way a tracking computer can you know track that little whole thing or like it's not gonna work or i can't even see it. like the, all these things that kind of yeah. uh, basically them saying like it the tracking computer is like not gonna work like it's you know the technology is uh flawed. So, you know, luke had to use the force and all that kind of stuff and uh, he also yeah. connected it really well with like a quote that vader later made before the attack like literally just before the attack happened he made a quote comparing the force and technology and all that kind of stuff so it's a really interesting watch i won't spoil too much oh yeah cool it's so it's not, much, it's not it's not a joke it's like legit oh, no, it's a, breakdown yeah, well, okay yeah we well, yeah. actually throws in a lot of jokes too just for fun to kind of make it more yeah because people yeah, have watched no, that scene probably hundreds of times yeah, see what people do. There's all sorts of stuff in there, right? <laughs> Take a look at the chart. Star Wars number one has always, has always been uh, a kind of a big book. In the early days, it was worth 25 US in uh, 77. Okay, Jerry, that's cool. I'm uh, sorry, I was I was comparing it to like you know, like where it is now, like where where it went yeah. to, because it kind of really vaulted up a lot. But yeah, Jerry, you're right. I mean, it's not like it was complete trash. I never said that. I might have said that, but I, it's not what I really meant. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah i hear you jerry i'm with you it's you know it's important book for sure and now it's reached other levels though which really surprised a lot of people the bat cow roadmap looks cool please god don't let this suck <laughs> Adam. everyone's pray to the dc gods yeah, yeah. i know look at miss rose right there yeah kind of curious to see how that all the how that all plays out because dc is playing pretty fast and loose with their ip right you know they're on hro they're on vv they're on yeah. um uh Gosh, the bat cowl thing. I, I thought they were on another project too that was on like floppy disks or something like that. Maybe I think that was it or something else. So they're they're kind of you know spreading, uh, putting their eggs in a lot of different baskets right now and seeing which one does the best. But yeah, it's if they're confirming, right? yeah. But if they're confirming that ours is the FA, I think that gives us a big leg up. At least our exactly everybody. Miss Rose is going to go see uh, Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. I need to see that movie. I know, right? We don't know what version of. Uh, uh, we don't know what version of any of them. Sorry, Maverick. I don't know what you're talking about, but we were it was probably something we were talking about a few minutes ago. Yeah, so the multiverse. Uh, I think he's talking about the uh, the Illuminati. Like we don't know which version of Xavier oh, or which yeah. version of Iron Man, which version of Mister Fantastic no could be. But those Sentry robots, those are Iron Man robots, right? Yep. Of that time, and um, mm -hmm. you know, I always thought it was the superior Iron Man who was like a villain. 
you know, but we'll see, right? Doctor Strange is not going to sell out like the, um, the, 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 the necklace. It'll sell out eventually, but yeah, maybe not in the first two seconds, but yeah. that's okay. And uh, yeah, you think so too, for sure. And then um, the HBO Lakers series is very good. I haven't seen it yet, but man, oh man, everybody. And I know we're talking about, you know, VV and Hero and, well, we haven't talked about Hero yet, HRO, mm -hmm. uh, but DC. But like what they did to Jerry West, okay, I don't know if you're a basketball fan, but I mean, I'm sorry. Jerry West is like, guys, <laughs> like, what are you doing? This is, it's not a documentary. So they obviously take creative liberties, but they made him look like a drunken psycho throwing chairs and stuff. And he's demanded an apology from um, that HBO, that series saying like, guys, like, I'm getting a lot of hate now because of it. This is not even who he was. And all the people are like, that's not what Jerry West is like. He's the logo yeah. of the NBA, one of the most distinguished gentlemen in the NBA. And they made him look like a psycho. And so he's mm -hmm. like, a lot of people have ditched the show because of it. And I'm not super like defending Jerry West. It's just the reality of it. Apparently they portrayed him as like not at all what he was like at all. And he's, he was pretty, pretty offended and pretty pissed. And so they've actually asked for like a retraction apology. So <laughs> it's pretty crazy, right? You can't just make, you can't just make stuff up about people's lives. Everybody. Like when you're like doing a show like that, especially when your Lakers fandom is watching it, they're like, uh, what? Mm. No, Jerry West never threw a chair through a window and was an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's apes have been stolen. Yeah. There was a big hack into their discord server on the board wow. apes, everybody. And, uh, because you know, people connect their wallets there and stuff not good so keep your ape on cold storage yeah no right? reason to put it out there. at least i would it i'm like i'm not even remotely taking that risk to no you don't keep it in your metamask wallet right because yeah. that's what you would connect to uh so you would connect your metamask wallet to some of these discords so you could then verify that you are an owner and then of course you know you can do all the stuff so i if i had a board ape worth 140 ethereum it would be in the cold storage I wouldn't have it, but yeah, it sucks. There's that's why you got to be careful with the open sea, man. That's why VV's so much safer and bat cowls and HRO. We'll see what happens. You know, who knows, right? But Bones doesn't think uh, Bones doesn't 70 think gems. seventy gems is it worth is, it. it. Is yeah, a bit you much. know, but, I mean, like the that, thirty premium collectibles for fifty gems, right? Like Storm, Deadpool, yeah. Moon Knight. Those are all fifty, and then we get an item, and it's seventy. Yeah. And no. I don't know, man. I could think of some good things to do with 70 gems. You could grab uh, that Silver Surfer Uncommon. You could probably buy, well, you could buy uh, 14, 15 Uncommons for that at five bucks a pop. I mean, yeah. that's nice master collector and stackability. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then um, we just got the 20 gem Disney drop, which I thought was really good. I'm actually really liking... I don't own any of them. Okay. So, well, no, sorry. I own Ursula because I got the common, of course, yeah, <laughs> but, um, actually I didn't get the common Ursula. My son actually got uh, on, on his account, which is like my second account. It's like, it was started off as my wife's mm -hmm. account, but my son's completely taken it over. He's like, no, it's my account. I'm like, fair enough. You go for it. And so he got Ursula. Right. So he's like, you know, we're, we're keeping everything on that account that it's, it's almost like a pure account. Anything landed on the drop is staying on there, no matter how crappy, good, bad, whatever it is. It's just going to be like a, and it, I'm, it's like an experiment. It's like how how good can that account look after a year from now? Just getting drops, you know, because we're yeah. not buying anything in the market with that account. Um, mm -hmm. I did do some transferring before because you know we could do some transferring. So yeah. especially if I wanted to sell something stealth like, because you know I get like razzed in the. You know, <laughs> so, that, was, that was me months ago when yeah. the market was going down. People were like, hey, I saw you're sell selling your lenticular cards. Do you think they're crashing? I'm like, I'm yeah, just trying to look at stuff. Like, I'd still, I'm doing yeah. it. I have like, I have like, you know, 15 Amazing Spider Man, like number three on commons, right? So I'm like, they're worth about 50 gems. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, I, I don't have enough gems for the for this particular drop. I'll sell one and then uh, I'll get a message, which is totally fair. Hey, uh, don't you like that comic? It's like, yeah, yeah, but I stacked it. You so said I you liked it or whatever. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you brought up earlier, uh, you know, for 70 gems, I mean, you can get some nice stuff. I just did a quick search. I love using my NFT tracker to like look up this stuff. I looked at ultra rare comics that are between the, between 50 to 70 gems. And I'm like, dude, you can get NYX ultra rare. You can get the first appearance of Morbius. You can get I know, right? Um, you can get four Bushman if that's your if that's your style. I really want to get that <laughs> that's ultra a limited rare one. That's limited. <laughs> First appearance of uh, um, uh, Dead Eye, not Dead Eye, uh, Bullseye. 
yeah you can get him as well like that that's a pretty decent one um dark hawk sure. if you're if you're into like the meme comics you know apparently i've heard yeah well dark people hawk is loving the dark hawk stuff just you know with the i know it's kind of a meme joke comic from the yeah. late 90s but you know they're like the the professor x dude uh with james mcelvoy i think his name is has been rumored mm -hmm. to be playing him in a movie coming up so look at roman asked this if will we buy amazing spider-man one or fantastic four one in vivi well i would buy both and i own both i have the ultra rare of both because i can't get mm -hmm. to the secret rare level but if i was if, if it's me like if i had to choose between the two of them i'd probably go um and this is because of my fandom i'd probably go spider-man first because it's spider-man although the fantastic four number one is an older and more significant comic for marvel it's like a you know it's it's yeah. so is there's a choice right but i think you can't go wrong with either i think to me they're kind of on mm -hmm. par with each other in vv i do think spider i think spider-man number one is worth a bit more in the app mm -hmm. i think like the common i have to it's and we're talking within five to ten gems or something right but i would go for spider-man just because it's you know what do you think vibes would you what would you do? Uh, you guys, you know, that's that's a tough one. I think tough, um, right, like that's uh, both, both are great. Um, I don't know, like like pretty much all the old school comic book collectors know the significance of both. It's you know, it's they're both so good. I think it's almost like comparing. It's like oh, Pepsi or cola. It's like uh, I don't know, like they're both good. I, it's personal preference. Um, I <laughs> Pepsi. I, 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 Pepsi. <laughs> no, <I'm what>? <laughs> but though I I do think personally, I'd probably go with. Um, I'd probably go with Spider-Man as well. I, I just feel like just for yeah. some reason in my mind, I think it should, it should just be more popular, also easier to like liquidate until Marvel makes a really big push for like a lot of Fantastic Four stuff, which, you know, we're, we're getting um, Mr. Fantastic and, and Multiverse of Madness and all that stuff. But yeah, he's going to be Spider-Man's been hot for a while. So, oh, yeah, it's always Spider-Man. Executives oh, yeah. being sold the secret rare today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just dumped it. Yeah, there I don't blame you. That's why you go for the comic drops, just like Vibes did. You you, you mm -hmm. get the secret rare if you don't want it. You can just sell it because people want it. I mean, I want to talk about this for a sec with you, Vibes, okay? Sure. So, like, secret rare comics, okay? I mean, there's only 500 of them, all right? So, like, I did a video a few days ago about just how rare they are, right? We don't have to talk about the numbers and stuff. I broke it down with some fun percentages about current the current wallets, you know? And that was the other thing is, like, you know, this 2 million active user thing that we keep hearing a bit. And uh, we thought that that's where it was. I think it, we go to the Amita scan, you can see there's like 600,000 wallets that actually have a collectible in them. And, uh, you know, whatever that number is, but that's sort of where I'm basing, like, how many people we actually have. And even that is a little bit less because we have, like, I have two in the house here. Even though there's two two different people using it, it's still my money, right? So it's like yeah. my son, my son's not, you know, <laughs> he's not <laughs> buying VV stuff, right? Like I'm helping him out with that, right? Like we'll get enough in there for the drop and, you know, like, so anyway, so we have that. And then we have, you know, I did the percentages of like only like this amount of people can own a secret rare, right? Like out of just the numbers we have now. But like, if you look at the collectibles in the app that are 500 or less, so we're talking about the secret rare coming up, right? With Dr. Mm -hmm. Strange here. There's like, you said it was like low. It's like 2,000 of them. The Secret Rare Comics is 500 of them. And those are the basic ones, right? Except for, uh, except for um, you know, Spider-Man 14. I think there's 1,400 of them, you know, whatever, right? And, um, but there's like 600 of them, right? And then you get the 250. I mean, I don't think people understand like how, how my, like how scarce that is. And the prices of them, it does not reflect the same as the collectibles at that level. Like, look at any collectible in the app that's like 500, 400, even a thousand, ver uh, like, you know, editions. Most of those are worth a lot more than even the, like, most of the secret rare comics, except for the grails, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't think people really understand or really realize or have forgotten or maybe haven't really clued in to, like, just how scarce a secret rare comic book is at 500 oh, yeah. editions. So that's why I, about a, about a couple months, uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe about three or four weeks ago, it was Sleeping Comics who like talked about how many he had. Just briefly, he's like, oh, I think I have this amount, or I can't remember what he said, but, and I was like, I had none. Like I had none at that point. And I had lots of I ultra rares and tons of uncommons and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Like as a comic book collector, I've really got to like, I really got to start acquiring these. Stepping up the game a little. You know? Yeah, just just because they're so rare. So I, I started going after all the Spider-Man ones because for me, like I said, I love Spider-Man and who doesn't, right? And, you know, mm -hmm. I'm thinking like I can sell them pretty easily in the future if I need to, I would think. But um, now I have like uh, 13 
right? And they're not all the big ones, right? They're not all, mm -hmm. like, you know, they're all more recent ones and the Craven ones. And, and, but I did get Spider Man 3, which was kind of like probably the biggest that I could get to because it was mm -hmm. about, I got it for like 1300 and now, you know, so. Wow. Yeah. I, I was like, I saw it there and I went, whoa, that's my last chance because I can't get the Spider-Man one and even Daredevil one or, you know, I mean, I could if I liquidated a Superman or something. But what do you think, man? I mean, like, yeah, like, I, I agree. Like, they're so scared. There's only 500 of them or 250. Like 250? Yeah, the, some of them are, some of them, I think it, it varies between how many are minted. Sometimes they're 600. Most of them are 500. Um, there's some that are really cheap, like you said. There's, there's some that's only like 250 with those uh, 10,000 mint runs. There's only like 250 of them, and so that's. I, I think another people forget too is like unlike the collectible counterparts, which obviously have more mints, you're also getting into like a community or group of people that are just innately hodlers, like long term. Like most of the people yeah. that do have the comics, people that just want to sell them or flip them to to like you know like me or whatever. It's like unless it's a big key comic or whatever, it's like I'm just going to get rid of it to be quite honest. Um, yeah. eventually it's going to get into a comic book hodler's hands or at least someone that understands the value because the only people that are buying secret rare comics understand the value of secret rare comics long term right like it just makes sense like that's the only reason why they would buy it like i don't think there's a lot of people that are buying a secret rare comic and then just like well i hope this just like 10x soon or whatever it is which it probably could eventually but i, sure. I just think innately yeah. um just given enough time i think like i said just the combination of like the comic book community the people that usually buy the secret rare comics most, not all of them, I would imagine, are probably comic book collectors, or at least understand the value of owning a secret rare comic and holding that long term. You also have just like less competition too, right? Like you look at the collectibles. The second there's a drop announcement, there's 140 people, 150 people, all just <laughs> constantly undercutting each other. Uh, you know, you have basically five percent of the the running supply just yeah. constantly undercutting each other. But with comics, it's like, all right, you might get one person to undercut you, but that's it. And then usually those floors are so thin where it's like. You look at a secret rare comic, it's like it goes to a thousand and fifteen hundred, then it jumps up to like three K sometimes. Like it's really just start just running away. So sometimes um you just buy two or three of them, then all of a sudden the price doubles. And it's like yeah. wow, the price can, can really run away. Um uh, for for the most part. So yeah, I, I like uh secret rare comics. Uh most of the ones that I want to get, like I just can't afford. Like that's why I'm kind of focusing on on the ultra rares because some of them are still pretty limited, like a thousand is still not a lot for for uh ultra it's rares. insane it's low like how many collectibles like really i was thinking about putting a video together just to compare but i also kind of was hesitant on doing it because i didn't want to like you know the value of some of these collectibles that are under a thousand editions mm -hmm. that you know have no big ip attached to them i didn't really want to expose them because people yeah. have them because they're like, you know, they're really cool and they're great and they should be worth that, like whatever they are, like, you know, mm -hmm. and I don't want to mention too many of them because I thought, well, I could do a video comparing, well, look at this, this one's got this, why is this Spider-Man comic only worth 400 when this one's worth 3000? And this is, there's, there's, there's 2000 of these and this one over here, there's only 500 of them and it's Spider-Man. Like mm -hmm. why? Right. But then I thought, yeah. well, I don't want to hurt that collectible because I actually think that collectible mm -hmm. shouldn't be worth that much. And the last thing I want to do is have people suddenly dump that one and start going for that, right? Because, you know, I just think the uh, secret rares, they, they have they have to be like the, the risen up to that level. I mean, mm -hmm. there's, there's so few of them, even with the current people we have right now. So that's just, yeah, yeah I just I just think in regards to like how, I agree with everything you said, like in regards to like how low additions they are, you know, they're it's ridiculous like you know whether mm -hmm. they're a collectible or a comic or whatever uh like that kind of a low edition number you know historically has proven to be really valuable in the app although the secret rare comics are not like getting that kind of value that they really deserve like for just how rare they are and like yeah even the ultra rares at a thousand yeah, i mean i, think that's, I, just, I like those just because it's a good meeting between yeah. it's still rare enough to warrant relatively high prices but it's still affordable enough or it's still just enough of a step down where people don't have to like look i can't afford the 5000 gem seeker rare but look i can get the 700 gem ultra rare which is still pretty rare it's a vv exclusive cover um and i also found it just infinitely easier to to liquidate too right um, yeah plus uh, for certain comics certain ones there's actually less ultra rares than seeker rares on the market too right um so on certain comics not all of them are like that but there's still sometimes just way less seeker rares. sometimes there's only like 12 seeker rares on the on the market out of yeah. 500 and you're just like 
Where, whereas everyone else, they're like, oh, they're just hodling. They're just waiting. Like, they're, and first of all, they're, they're not going to sell at these prices. Most of them are not going to sell at these prices. Yeah, uh, for sure. At least the way like the current market sentiment is. So I, I do like, I like Secret Rare Comics a lot because I think um, as Secret Rare Comics go up, that's also going to pull up the price of Ultra Rares a little bit. I don't think there's going to be a algorithm where it's like, oh, it's always going to be exactly this percentage of the max price. But uh, yeah. yeah, the Secret Rares, it's like if there's going to be a diehard comic, um, collector i think he's gonna buy them all all the rarities for whichever comic but the secret yeah. rare is gonna be the grail right it's gonna be the highest well, tier one think about this like so they have this doctor strange uh uh drop tomorrow let's say the secret rare had 500 editions how much do you think it would be worth like probably probably tr triple the price that i said so probably right. closer to like 700 or something yeah like yeah that. people Maybe are dropping today's secret rare Even in this market. under 100 gems mm-hmm you know what I'm saying? Like, like, mm -hmm. like, why is that? Why, why is the comic book, you know, at 500 editions, <laughs> not worth yeah. is it because we have tons of them. We have tons of secret rares. That could be one thing. Cause we have lots of comics, you know, there's like 45,000 secret rares in total in the app. If you actually add them all together, um, just a little bit, I think there's just over, I think there's 46,100 now because of today's drop, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Cause I did for, it was 45,700 secret rare comics in this app uh which sounds like a lot but when you have six hundred thousand, you know users i did the math yeah. you know with my calculator just did it did seven percent can own one right just a seven percent of all of all of the wallets that we have in the app that have something in it only seven percent of them can have one secret rare and you we know like i have 13 so Right. So it's actually mm -hmm. like way less people have. And those more. numbers are going to go down because we're eventually we're going to obviously get more yeah. people on the platform coming in, coming in. And then, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm actually kind of glad VB is actually kind of held back on not just throwing all the grails of all the comics, all the collectibles possible on the app. Right. Like I think they've actually kind of um, restrained themselves. But I, I like the comics we have on the platform are pretty damn good. I'll, I'll say that. And I actually do it's like the art style of yeah. some of the secret. I do kind of like the white background too of the, the secret rare uh comics and how they most of them have a panel pull not all of them are like that but i i do yeah. kind of like that style um, could you imagine the though if the common cover was the secret rare <laughs> was the secret rare, like, cover? amazing spider-man one the secret mm -hmm. rare was the common original cover like yeah i think that would be bizarre it would be like double mm -hmm. Cause you know, it's the original cover, which real comic book collectors like in the real world, you know, love and, mm -hmm. uh, they go, you know, cause it's the actual cover. Right. So yeah, here, I just want to talk about this. Gardner said that all the HRO guys like the Gale and all those guys are pumping these back cows, possibly advertising coming. So I guess some people are really into it. I haven't watched any of the, any of anybody else, uh, videos on it. I'm gonna, and you mm -hmm. know, hopefully they're excited about it. Jerry had a couple things to say here. Another weird thing about the Star Wars comic is no one really bought it, but it did last nearly 10 years. How long the movies went, basically. The first issues have junk art, but it gets better, for sure, right? And then he was talking about the Lakers series here. Watch it. It's cool. I totally want to watch the Lakers series, Jerry, because I'm a Laker diehard, right? Mm -hmm. I, but he said right here that uh, I bet Jerry West is most of the things the series alleges. He doesn't look all that bad. FFS. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. I'll watch it, Jerry. Thanks for pointing that out. I just know... And I don't want we don't talk about big Jerry West in the series, right? And, and I should watch it first before I really comment. But I'm just relaying what Jerry was saying and what other people who were like, you know, in the organization at that time said that that's not at all what he was like. Now, I wasn't there, so I don't know. But that's what's going on anyway. But anyway, yeah, I totally, I'll watch it, Jerry. Thanks for pointing it out. And Himalayan says, yes, the series made me think Jerry's a mad drink. <laughs> <laughs> a mad drink. Yeah, Watch I mean, out. he's not like he was doing, like, you're right. I think for Jerry, yeah. that guy, he's probably like, he just, you know, it's just like, he's just obviously thinking, dude, I wasn't like this. I think he's a pretty honest guy. I mean, like, mm -hmm. I, I would take his word over it. I would, you know, over the show, personally. Because it's not like he, like, ignores the show. Um, I grabbed the back cow right at 3 a.m. This is Bones, mainly for the experience. Oh, so when it like when you could, right? When it first came out, because there was a pre-order that I couldn't get, but then there was the public sale. I think that's what you're talking about. Because I checked it this morning and I, there was available, so I went and grabbed it. Not necessarily for making money. I wanted to join in on the fun. Yeah, I, I was kind of thinking the same thing, Bones. Like, by the way, I like that <laughs> like your name, Bones. Bones yeah. B, just Bones, right? Uh, super easy to say in the chat, but. I was just thinking like, you know, 
I just want to try it out. And like, you know, I, I, I could afford to do it. I mean, I can't afford, I mean, 300 US, I could put in the app and buy a couple more secret rares. So yeah, it's always a balance. I don't have endless funds. Exactly. Like, you know, we all don't. I mean, there's some people who do, but I don't. I mean, like I said, mm -hmm. I can't, the highest secret rare I can get to was like that $1,500 range. And that was because I sold stuff in the app. That wasn't because I went and loaded a bunch of money in. Like I had to work my way up for that because I haven't put money in the app and actually a decent amount. I haven't put money in the app aside from like, you know, 10 bucks to cover a drop on a comic or something like mm -hmm. on my son's, you know, device. I haven't um, put money in the app in like well over a month, you know, and it's not because I'm against like putting money in the app. I just don't need to right now. Like I haven't yeah. needed to, even although I've been tempted because that Todd is there, but I don't want to drop, <laughs> you know, 3000 us, like up, up in Canada too. That'd be like $3,500 or at least, mm -hmm. uh, just to go after Todd at this moment, even though in the yeah, future, that's... I would probably be easily cash outable and I would make money on that. I just don't have that kind of money in my bank account. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I really wish I lever like I'm right now I'm leveraging something like HRO to like make a lot of money and then just cash out. But. Jerry, we all know professional sports people are nut jobs. Yeah, <laughs> they're they're intense, insane people. It is totally true. These people yeah. are nuts. Like to get to that level of anything, you have to be like crazy, right? So you have to be obsessed. Yeah, normal. Well, you know, you played at the college level, right? You must have yeah. played with some. Some guys of the coaches and... were pretty crazy, and then even some of the players too. It's yeah. Yeah, well, you might have been. You obviously had to be super dedicated to get to that level, man. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I went. I tried out for college basketball in the states. And I'm only like 5'11 or so, so I'm not, you know, but I was close to making the the team at the college here. I was like the last guy cut and, uh, you know, I, I could have played at the level I could have, but I, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't make it and that's fine. And actually I was super relieved the next day when I went home. So like I, I, I went to the practice, you know, my whole life I've been playing on sports, right. On teams. And then I go to the college level and I'm in the tryouts and I was there for like a couple weeks, you know, and then I got to the very last, like I was the last guy they cut. There's one other guard that, you know, we were about the same and he mm -hmm. was actually invited to come. I was more of a walk on. And, uh, but anyway, he, he got the team and I didn't, and I was walking home and I wasn't even that upset vibes. Yeah. I was like thinking to my, at first I was kind of like, oh, this sucks. I kind of wanted to play for sure. But then I was like, I don't have to go to practice tomorrow. Wow. For the first time in like literally like 12 years. Yep. Right. Cause you know, you play from when you're like young all the way through. Right. So the first day I didn't have to go to practice cause they were, the season was starting for them. I was free to just hang out with my friends in college. So I just played basketball for fun after that, like, you know, in leagues and things, but I didn't have, so it takes dedication. If you're going to get to that level, these people are nuts. Right. So yeah. uh, I almost played here, ball um, up in Canada. I almost did, but not really. Oh yeah. I almost played football yeah. up here. Almost. Yeah, like, did. I, play, I think the college level plays the same uh, as the uh, the American rules, right? The four downs, because well, I, mean, like I don't think the high school like, or something college yeah. up here plays um, Canadian football, which is three down, you know, wider field, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, because I had a couple teammates after, because I'm talking like after college. I had some people play for DC up there. Um, I, I, yeah. for, I forgot the name of the, the teams and stuff up there, but. Uh, oh, don't yeah, worry, worry about it. It's the Canadian Football League. Yeah. Warren Moon played here for a while, though. Mm -hmm. you know <laughs> a few others so meet angel hey guys what do you think about tomorrow's drop we were talking about it um i personally you, uh like i'm probably gonna pass personally i've mentioned that in my video it's like this is yeah. what i'm probably gonna pass on maybe i'll grab the the rare with like the open eye one if it's like cheap enough if it goes for cheap it's like all right yeah. I, don't, I don't know if i'm gonna chase the secret rare but it would be cool to own one of the amulets if it went down to you know, let's say it just got down to a yeah. ridiculous price. But I got I got 70 gems earmarked for some other things. And as yeah. cool as I think the secret rare would be to have because it's animated, I probably won't go for this one because yeah, I just have my my eyes focused on some other stuff. And we'll see where exactly. it lands because I can pick one up later, right? Palm exactly. Studios Crypto Superhero. I like that name. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Palm Studios is both DC superhero discs that uh, has teased utility inside the cows. There you go, right? That's cool. cool. That's so that you know, there's stuff that happening. It's just another. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to be all in on BB, everybody, and like just all there. You can do other stuff, right? That's what the whole world's about. It's cool. Uh, Diamond Inc. I love that name too. <laughs> My collectibles. Did you see the new Spider-Man Funko with the number one Spidey comic in the back? I did see that. Did you guys see the uh, DC? nft uh funkos 
with Batman and all the rest mm, of them. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Those yeah. look cool. See, this is the thing for me though, everybody. Like, that is too tempting. I can't go anywhere near that stuff. Okay. Like, like I got I got Funkos, like I got physical collectibles like coming out, you know, the the, the glosses. I'm trying to sell them because of the toy store I own for five years. I still have inventory that I'm trying to sell. And I'm yeah. I'm selling it like slowly to to local dealers and people that I know and collectors around my area, right? And on eBay a little bit, but I'm still trying to move stuff out and transition to digital. So once they start combining digital and and and, and physical, like with the HRO yeah. cards, I mean, you see, I got my uh, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, see up there, there it is. Yeah, right? there's one pack, card. and I got my I got my action comics. I can't even play. I got my action comic number one, mm -hmm. so I'm happy. Uh, you know, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, like, as soon as you start collect doing both, that is too tempting for me. I mean, you're gonna I, I saw those Funkos. Physically. Yeah. yeah, I saw those Funkos, so, and I was like, "Oh boy, I better, I better not go anywhere near the toy stores." Yeah, because I'll walk out with something, and I just, uh, you know, <laughs> we're gonna be stuck with a bunch of physical inventory, and then, and then digital inventory. That's gonna be a whole other thing. Digital inventory. Oh yeah. Up, so. Look at Mar uh, uh, Mauricio with the Lakers logo, my friend. You guys heard of uh, Steppen? No, I've never heard of that. Do you know what that is, VV Vive? Steppen? <laughs> no. No, I don't. Uh, tell us what it is. Uh, Secret Rare Daredevil number one is my favorite comic book I have. Yeah, I would love to get that one. I'm not the Matt biggest Daredevil fan, like in terms of like Same. watching his show and everything, but he's big. Like he's big, right? Fat cowls right here. Go for tomorrow's drop or wait for me. I'm I'm pretty much waiting, Gardner. Uh, I yeah, I think I, I'm going to confirm that. I, I you know I can't. The 70 gems, like I said, I just have, I know you like probably the it's same quite thing. I just have other things I want. I want to get a couple more secret rares that mm -hmm. I'm really focused on. I, I want to complete the Craven set. You know, the last one I need is where he, his, you know, 294, Amazing Spider-Man, mm -hmm. where Craven's half his face and, you know, Spider-Man's hanging behind him. I want to get that one. I want to get the Web of Spider-Man um, secret rare with, you know, um, Ben Riley doing his little jump, you know. Uh, I want to get Amazing Sp Spider-Man 50. <laughs> which is about a thousand gems. So mm -hmm. I have some work to do and I don't think I can put 70 gems towards Dr. Yeah. Strange. Uh, but I don't know. Right. <laughs> even, even if the box price, I think was 50, even if it was 40, I I'd still maybe pass to be quite honest, even if it was 50 or 40 personally, just the way the market yeah. is, I'm saving up my gems uh, right now to buy other things. So, yeah, I got 45 gems in the app right now <laughs> at this moment. Okay. Because I bought a few things, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that would be, I don't even have enough gems to get it unless I sell another comic and or something. Right. And so I'd have to load. Mm -hmm. So for that reason alone, I won't go for it if I don't have the, uh, the gems, like I'm not going to load 70 yeah. gems and go for it. So if I had like 600 gems or something just sitting there, maybe I would, because, you know, then I could just sell, maybe lose 20 gems, take a chance to get this, you know, that kind of the gamble. Right. Mm -hmm. But uh, I hate selling for under retail. So I wouldn't really be too happy doing that at that level on a comic book though. If you sell under retail and it's like five and you you paid six or seven, you sell it for four. I mean, you're only losing two or three, right? So it's like the mm -hmm. there's no risk in a comic book. But when you're yeah. looking at 71 and it drops down for 30, maybe like that's that hurts. Know, that hurts a bit. So Sven says he likes the ultra rare comics more. Yeah, they do have better art. They 100 percent do. Although the Captain America series that just came out has better art on the uh, secret rares. Mm -hmm. in my opinion you know the ones like i mean i know they're not valuable comics but i picked up the one of spider-man and the rhino oh so that yeah, yeah. that's a cool right? one yeah and then vv arcade says i have spider-man one comic common and uncommon and a rare wish you could afford this ultra rare and the secret rare well sell all the others and get the ultra rare that's how you can mm -hmm. do it <laughs> that's what i did yeah. vv arcade now i'm not saying do that but that's what i had to do i had to sell the others and move up that level to the ultra rare which I think is vastly undervalued. I mean, the secret rare is like thousands and the ultra rare is like 600. Like, I mean, yeah. it's not that far in addition side. I don't understand the ultra rares of these should be 2000. And if you, you know, like the secret rares, 20,000 or whatever, right. Or, or 9,000, I think. Yeah. That's, that's usually the, the advice I've always kind of given people to say, Oh, should I buy this one golden moment or these three that are kind of equal the same value or whatever. You could almost say the same thing. Like, Oh, should I buy an ultra rare of a comic or buy, two yeah. rares and uncommon and a rare it's like get the most expensive thing first because that's probably just gonna run away faster you can always go back and buy at least portions of the cheaper things later right so it's like buy c3po yeah. now 
you can always go back and buy Timon and Pumbaa or Pooh like a little bit later. But right now sure. it's like get C3PO while you can't, while it's cheap. So it's like get the Ultra Rare first. You can always go back and, you know, make, make some trades or get a lucky drop. Because, uh, yeah. you know, if you buy all the cheap stuff first and then you try to get the more expensive thing later, you know, you're going to have to liquidate that that cheaper stuff, eat the eight and a half percent fee. You have to get lucky on a handful of drops or then afford it. It's like just my opinion, get the more expensive thing first and then try and get the cheaper stuff later. Yeah, I, I would agree. Although I have had some comments saying, you know, for liquidity, get the cheaper stuff. Then you can like there's that th we're thinking, too. Mm -hmm. So if he's, he's got three comics, like two rares or whatever, and you can sell one of those quicker than you can sell the secret rare. I mean, you know, True. potentially, but um, so there's that. But I, I tend to go for like the big one and try to just acquire it. Yeah. And uh, not that he's, you know, you're doing wrong, BB Arcade. I mean, you got those three. That is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Nope. Keep it those, going. Those try good. to, yeah, try to get the ultra rare. Then you have four. Then you're even, even better, right? Mm -hmm. Gardner says that we don't have like a lot of real comic collectors. Well, you know, the thing about that is we've all been talking about people have been turning into collectors in the app, but really mm -hmm. I, I, you know, and then Gardner, I totally know what you mean by that, by like the real world comic collectors. We don't have hordes of them in here yet and all that kind of stuff. Maybe we never will. Right. Maybe we don't need them at all. I mean, if maybe we don't need any of those people to come in, maybe we just need more regular numbers of people coming in because they like Spider-Man. They see the comics, they go for it. They get into crypto and that's how, you know, keeping getting MTL open will open up the masses to regular people. And we don't even need the real, big comic book collectors who are stuck on the physical books and won't go digital, right? Like, you know, they're going to be people who will never do it. Right. So, but mm -hmm. I think more importantly that I just think the numbers of how rare they are really need to be like, really looked at, like there's 500, right. And so they should oh, be yeah. higher, you know, superstar yeah. money wants the time stone. How you doing buddies? Both you guys, <laughs> guys go follow their channel too. superstar. They want the time stone. That's why if I think I the rare is going to do better. It. Well, could you imagine if you turn back time, go back to like last April? Yeah, I, I do think if there's some like really weird utility, like maybe the uncommon, uh, you know, maybe of the three, there's one that like slows down time. There's one that speeds up time and there's one that pauses time where you put it next yeah. to animated collectibles, like maybe they slow down or they speed up or something like, I mean, I'm talking like way in the future, but who knows? I, I do think with a lot of the, hidden animations that we've been kind of been seeing like you know it's like we had no idea that the emoji disney things were had music we had no idea the kit car had all like are because in my mind i'm like are they talking about the the vehicle in the show or are they talking about the nft because they're like oh it has lights and it can drive and it talks i'm like all right is this are we talking about the show or the nft like i'm not sure which one we're talking about but then we're yeah. nicely surprised right so totally michael's got four secret rare spidey 101 morbius Nicely done, my friend. I have one of those. I have 50 uncommons of that. And when I unleash them on the market, everybody, you're not going to be buying them from anyone else but me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I know people have like 150 of those, like, you know, the uncommons and stuff. It's just mental. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, well, to that one guy's comic, sorry, uh, earlier when he was talking about uh, we don't have a lot of comic book collectors, I don't yeah. think we need a lot. We don't need people that that are actual, genuine, physical comic book collectors. I think that that's why I said, you know, people that get secret rare comics, they are either comic book collectors or understand the value of having a secret rare comic. You know, yeah. like I don't, I don't have to be a st five star chef to understand that making a turducken dish is really hard to do. Like I don't have to be a professional chef to, to understand <laughs> that that's a hard dish to make or whatever it is, right? So sure, it's like, yeah. Uh, but I understand the the value of it and stuff. So I think that's why, I mean, even then with, with 500 people, that's the one thing I do like is that if you do have someone that is just trying to, you know, quote unquote, get rid of it, paper hand, whatever term you want to use for it. Um, yeah. As good or as bad as you want to make it be. That's just one person. They sell it and then it gets into an actual hot oil stance, right? You don't have to go through 7,000 people like some of these other uh, uh, common comics or some of the collectible versions where it's like you have to go through so many people till it finally gets into enough people's hands yeah. that understand the value so oh yeah for sure superstar money you're a legend my friends uh two legends in the community work at work here like and subscribe thanks superstar go see their channel too guys we were chatting we'll probably do something together too i know we do like uh i haven't done a lot of collab videos but you know we'll do something fun uh hey hamoon that's 15 dollar a common mint oh okay so that's that's you guys chit chatting rose mm -hmm. with the flames heating things up in here thanks so much I think it's pretty cool they give you um they give you voting rights on the future of the storyline for the cowls but i have zero interest in the dc storyline 
<laughs> yeah, that's unfortunately true. I got a cow superstar money. I did. I got one today. Vibes yeah, I on think the fence. We might. We might. Uh, you guys try might to convince, convince me to do it. You guys might convince me. Might convince yeah, him. Yeah. He's got. He's got other things to buy though too, right? We all do. Sell your Superman for a Daredevil one. Secret rare. It's a no brainer. You know, Mauricio. I, I've been thinking about stuff like that. You know, because I. I have like. I have so. You know, I got R2. I, I don't have very many collectibles right now, everybody. And that's for a reason. Like I have, this is just what I have. I, I don't mind sharing it. It's fine. I have R2 and C3PO. I have Superman and the Joker. All right. And then I have, um, um, I have the newer Batman, the newer one, right? Just with him, the common, but I have number 250. Like I bought a low mint of the, the, the you know, of that. And then, um, and then what's the other one I have? <laughs> I have to even remember the, the other collectible I have. Hold on one second here. Cause I only have five. So hold on a second. I have six, sorry. Oh yeah. And then I have uh, a Spider-Man first appearance. I have, I have the rare of, of Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. So those right. are the only collectibles I currently own. Now I've owned like lots of golden moments in the past. I've had like Elsa and the hat and, you know, Winnie the Pooh and like all the rest of them. And I've had, I've had up to three Supermans and uh, you know, like I've, you know, like, like all of us, I've had tons. I've had, I had, you know, the kit cars, you know, like I had four of them and until I'm able to transfer, I decided I'm just going to sell them because I, I needed, I went after the uh, secret rare comics, but now that, cause I didn't have no idea when transfers coming back and my whole thing with the kit car is to play with my family and drive around, but I can't transfer them. So I'm like, you know, I'm not going to just leave them in the app because the, the price of them is pretty steady. It's like a hundred gems. So I'll mm -hmm. buy them up later. Right. But I had four, right. It's, you know, I was like, oh, this is great. We'll drive around. But transfers is coming again, you know, with MCP points, but we don't know exactly when. So, uh, but you know, I'll grab them again. We'll drive them because they added the light. I mean, I just can't help myself. I'm so tempted to get them. Right. And there's other collectibles that I want, but I have the Superman and I'm just keeping him. Like, uh, I'm just, just keeping him because it's Superman. And, yeah. uh, the, the ones one that I have, I remember, oh, sorry. Do you have one Superman or multiples still? I only have one now. Yeah. I had I three it. at one point a couple months ago. Uh, then I had two for the longest time. Then I sold one for close to 3000 and I went after my secret rare comics. So I've already done what you said, but I just didn't get to daredevil because I went after all the other ones. But you know, if I have, I, I got to keep one Superman. Like for me, it's unsellable now, mm -hmm. and uh, R two is unsellable at this moment, right? Like in the future, I'll mm -hmm. probably sell it. You know, like you know. <laughs> and yeah, I, I, I picked up the Joker last week, and that's the only one that's tempting for me to just liquidate right now. So I go after more secret rares, but then I keep looking at him, and I go, "It's the Joker," you know, <laughs> like, and I wanted him forever, so I kind of put him with Superman. They have similar edition sizes. Uh, he's not the same level of price, but he should be. It's the Joker. So I'm not going to sell those collectibles to go after secret rares. I think it's pretty much <laughs> what I meant. But yeah. I hear what you're saying, Mar Mauricio. <laughs> yeah, because that's because that's the best and worst part about collectibles is that they're volatile. So it's like you know you sell off a Superman right now, and then all of a sudden, before you know it, next month when we have the web app up or some other features up, all of a sudden it starts taking off. You know, I I don't think it's going to hit all time highs or go crazy or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it, it also just hurts too, just selling stuff at the bottom like this to buy something else. You know. I mean, so is the secret rare comic for Daredevil, I would imagine. It's also probably at its bottom right now, but it just it just hurts and you don't want to get rid of your last collectible too. So I know, and I have so few collectibles. So when people see me in the media app and they say I have like six collectibles, like who is this who is this guy? Is he does he I have like yeah. I have like oh, like almost two hundred comics though. So yeah. <laughs> like you know, I've gone that, but they don't show when you look at the profile, they they don't collect Yeah, it doesn't show sense. comics, it doesn't show anything. Because my oh. my at least the the go ahead. No, no, I was going to ask you, I need to ask you a question about the stamp. So, the, you know, the, the baseball stamp. So mm -hmm. can you get more than one set if you buy more than one of those? Because the Superman, you can't. You just get one and then it's one set only. But can you buy like 10 stamps and get 10 sets? Uh, I think so. I think you can get multiple sets, but you get diminishing returns on the yeah. master collector program. So. But you get the set, you get the set, um, cause you know, you, uh, I don't know. I, it how it works, I think it, you know what? I think you're right. I think it only shows unique sets, so you can't duplicate them. Cause if that was the case, people yeah. would have, some of the whales would have tons and tons and tons, yeah. tons of sets, right? So. Yeah. So, so you got it. So that's a good set to get. I think kits a set, right? Uh, the yes. kit car. So you can get, so if you wanted to get three sets really quick, you could go for captain Carter kit and the stamp. And then you mm -hmm. have three sets right there. This is what I was looking at last night. It would cost you about 
250, 225 you know, to get all the, three of those. The, uh, three the, Guernica, po the, the Guernica poster as well as the two uh, pots. Those, those are the two plants. I think they're like 40 gems each right now or something like that now. So for 80 gems, you can get a set. Yeah, and the, or, yeah that's can, one you, set. Yeah, Guernica you can get all four like the, uh, the Disney girls that just came out or with Jafar. You could get oh, yeah, those they, for exactly. uh, like 100 or something. Just over a hundred, yeah, for all probably. four, and then you can mm -hmm. set there. So yeah, you know, uh, Corey just there. bought a bat cowl. There you go, Corey you became a member today of the channel and just oh. bought a bat cowl. What a big day for Corey! Congratulations! <laughs> Hit that like, everybody. Look, we got uh, Xenon uh, fifty five from France. How you doing today? Thanks for joining right here. And uh, Diamond and Hamoon are having a good conversation there. We got pay pay. <laughs> Thoughts on Funko NFT drop on May, DC Batman universe. Like I said, for me, it's too tempting. <laughs> I just can't even go there. Like I just, just yeah. stop showing me cool stuff. I mean, I don't have that much money to do, to be able to. So yeah, I think they're great. I mean, but I, I'm not going anywhere near it because I just can't. I mean, I have I'll to. I'll buy a few. I'll ship you some. And then when you see it, you're going to be like, all right, don't gonna do this. that. To I'm gonna me. buy. I'm gonna buy 47 of these now. <laughs> yeah, don't do that to me. I will too. You'll see. Like see behind me, it'll be all like all of those, right? Mm -hmm. And my kids too. There's a there's an unbelievable store. I mean, there's big stores everywhere, but there's a store uh, in my area called um, Toy Traders. So if mm -hmm. you want, if you're ever up in Canada in the Vancouver area on the West Coast, Toy Traders is a massive store, and they have the most. They have like an absolutely bonkers Funko pop like wall. It's mm -hmm. like double sided. It's like probably 20 feet tall and Jeez. it's just everything you could ever imagine. So when I go there, we always go there. And of course they have the one six scale figures like coming out here or whatever, tons of comics, like vintage toy. I mean, the place is just massive. It started out with people trading, like they could bring their vintage toys in and mm -hmm. it's got these dioramas all around. It's just insane. Right. Anyway, it's pretty famous and, um, not just for Vancouver either. And, um, they have a giant Funko wall. So if I go there and I see those, <laughs> you know, it's going to be over, right? Nick got the Funko Batman and Superman. There you go uh, with the covers. Yeah. And the background for my three, my, my grandson's third birthday last week. Yeah. There you go, Nick. Nicely done. And Christian, the whole DC universe is getting overhauled soon. Now that Discovery owns Warner Brothers. They want a Kevin Feige like leader to manage all the DC properties. Yeah, for sure, right? But are they going to find one? Like he, that he mm -hmm. that guy's pretty smart, and what they've done for Marvel is literally yeah. never been done. It's never mm -hmm. been done. Like, and Marvel's the only one who's done it. So, I mean, maybe George Lucas with Star Wars, but then he sold it, and we kind of saw what happened. People weren't too happy with some of the last movies, but you know, now that we have like you know. Um, uh the two guys in charge of star wars now we have you know uh what's his face you know happy from iron man uh you know oh yeah yeah um, you know uh uh, uh oh, come on come on i heard their uh, names a million favreau, times john favreau and uh yeah now that those guys are in charge of star wars it's similar yeah. things are happening right so uh <laughs> look at superstar money asks this is a good question here is it possible that common comics may dip under a dollar <laughs> As more drops come, assuming no pump happens. Yeah, um, sure. I saw somebody buy one for not? a buck. Somebody posted a picture on Twitter a day ago or something like that. I can't remember what comic, but it was a buck. Mm -hmm. It was it was one gem. So can you sell for less than a gem, though? I, is there like a, a limit? Uh, I, yeah, I, I thought you gem? couldn't. I think one gem is the lowest, I think. Yeah, yeah. that's probably why you asked that, right? Uh, yeah. You want to be a collector like Thanos and get all of them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Maverick, just like he said, vibes, uh, you know, Vivi made him a comic book collector. As uh, I know, I tag him in all my new comic posts. I've been, I bought like 30 in the last month for my local comic store. Yeah, Maverick, right? It's fun. Mm -hmm. You go to the comic shop, especially if you can match them up. And uh, like I said, Vivi, if you're a comic collector and you're in the Marvel comics and you want hints about what comic to get at your local comic shop before it pumps on eBay, just be in Vivi. Because they're giving us all the hints before the comic collectors at the shops even know that something's going to happen. A comic drops in the app. It's got like like this one that happened today with Cyclock or whatever mm -hmm. her name is, right? Psylocke, yeah. Psylocke, Cyclock, you know, Psylocke. <laughs> so why? Okay. Why did we get that comic? Like why? Why did Vivi drop that particular comic of New Mutants? The New Mutants series, I know we had that movie that came out or whatever. And uh, it wasn't like that famous or whatever, popular. It's kind of dark, you know, and kind of weird. And um, but anyway, 
why did we get that comic? So maybe, you know, hit your local comic shop, snag one up, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, if you, this is what my mind thinks of with Vivi, right? So, um, he even That's talked right. a little with the owner. Yeah. I tried to talk to a comic shop owner about Vivi and they were kind of like, oh yeah, yeah. I kind of heard of it. It's coming around, you know? <laughs> yeah. Cause it's, I mean, it's kind of wanted me to get into physical collectibles to be quite honest. I thought about buying a Todd, um, thought about buying some of the comics because the three comics I wanted to look at purchasing just because the, you know, the CGC price for, for, for these ones, I think are going to go up later, but also just like they're, I want to get like, I either want to get like a really old school comic at like a 2.0 and just if you just have it or yeah. get one of the newer age ones that are like, oh, I can get like a 9.2, a 9.6, but it's still relatively cheap. I think the three I was looking at was um, Ultimate Fallout 4, yeah. NYX, as well as, um, gosh, what was the other one? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, New Mutants. Like I was like, I kind of want to buy one of those three because I know. Ultimate Fallout right now, a 9.6 is well, 12, 1200. But if I get like a 9.0, it's 600. Okay, that's that's manageable. And sure. then if I get the, I think NYX as well as like New Mutants at like a 9.6 is like 600 as well. So it's like, yeah. okay, cool. Just It's just cool to have like a highly minted comic that's relatively new. Like there's going to be more Deadpool. There's going to be um, teasing What's Her Face, the girl from NYX, uh, Wolverine's daughter. Like she's going to appear yeah. more, more, more than likely. So. Oh, big time, big time. Yeah, no, it's a no brainer. <laughs> you can make yeah. lots of money. Is the back cow still available? How much is it? It's 300 US. I think it's still available right now. You just go to um, Palm, just look up, just Google DC Palm back cow and you'll get, and you have to create an account on their mm -hmm. website, which is easy to do. And you can just buy it with, you don't need crypto or anything like that. And then um, it, this is sort of what it looks like. You'll get this little um, down here that you bought it, right? So. That's where it is, Sean. You can go check it out. You know, is the comic yeah. store owner interested in NFT comics? Yeah, I'm not really. I went into a ton. So over over the uh, over the spring break holiday, which is a few weeks ago in mid March, you know, my family and I we went. You know, we went. You know, we did kind of like a mall uh, vacation where we stayed at a couple of hotels uh, and we just went through malls because you know because of COVID we couldn't really do that before, right? So everything's opening up. So we I like shopping around, walking around. So I went in tons of collector shops looking at all sorts of fun stuff with my kids too. They're, they're really into it too, right? At different things too, right? Like not just like, mm -hmm. you know, Marvel stuff. But I, yeah, we went into collector shops, like card shops, die cast. I was looking for a die cast Aston Martin and I could not find one. Like wow. in, in any scale, any size. I mean, I wanted to find it. I could go online and buy one. But, you know, I wanted, I went into all these die cast car shops. So I was showing them the, the Aston Martin, like, do you have this? And they're like, what's that? And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And so, you know, spread the word. But they were sort of getting into it. And then there was a few in the in the sports cards sort of collectible shops. Uh, you know, there was there's been some NFT like cards that have come out, like there, you know, with athletes. Like there was uh there was NHL ones that, you know, with my local hockey team that there was like the goalie, there's like four versions of him, and it was an, it's actually an NFT as well. So like, you know, it's starting to come around. It's coming around. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my think, goodness yeah i think another reason why i think this drop isn't going to do too well at least in the secondary market is because i think there's still a lot of people holding breath for star wars right we got teased a ton by david you like over the next like week week and a half we could still get star wars and stuff so i think that's another reason we're, we're getting the pokemon effect right like i get the whole almost the whole entire month of february everyone's just like pokemon 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 and well there's yeah, a right? pokemon card behind him too I didn't catch that, to be honest. Yeah, it's it's down in the bottom. So if you look at him in the bottom right, like on his left, down the bottom yeah. right, beside the Darth Vader, there's a Pokemon card. Huh. And everyone's like, dude, don't do this to us. Don't now, show Pokemon. I know, right? So we got the wait list coming up, the VV logo. Did you hear about that? Uh oh, the wait list. Oh, yeah, for the, yeah, the, the test drop, drop the drop format. Yeah. Test he's like, oh, because at first I remember he mentioned he's like, oh, it's gonna be a white V. And then a whitey, then a blue, and I, I was like, "Wait, let me play that back." Like, what is he talking about? I'm like, "Oh, it spells VV." Duh. So yeah. they're doing a test drop with VV, and that's something I I even said a long time ago. Like, why aren't they? Yeah, just, you were saying that they, they don't have a VV logo. There's no, you know, none of that stuff. So I think it'll be cool. I vault, you know, to put display yeah. in your vault is sort of what they were saying, mm -hmm. right? And they were kind of teasing, like, "Oh, is it 100 gems? 200 gems? I don't know. It's it's somewhere around there. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I think it's 300 just gems, and yeah, there's just like 20,000 of them." <laughs> Yeah, I, I do think the logo will probably go for, depending on the rarity, the mint number, is it going to be animated? How many? 
all that stuff. It's also the first waitlist drop. So I think that will have some sort of historical significance as well, that it's the first waitlist drop. And yeah. because, again, with a waitlist, you're guaranteed to either get zero or one. That's it. Like with, with the old with the current system we have, you can right. get one, two, three, four, five, six. You can get almost as many as you want, but with the waitlist system, and that was kind of a question I was asking my chat in my stream last night, which is like, do you guys want wait system right now? I'm just curious. Q system, wait system, whatever I you want to call it. Do you, do you think it's needed? Because I think it was more of a, a knee-jerk reaction to just the bots and we're just like, all right, yeah. whatever BB's doing, it's just not working. We just want Q system because we don't know the answer. And until BB probably approached the company they outsourced to handle the bots, they're like, look, this isn't working. We're disabling transfers. That's the only thing we can do. The yeah. bots are handled. So it's like, all right, do we still need wait list? Like, um, I remember asking that question in the... Uh, what's it called in the, the the Twitter space, which is, which was like, how is Q system going to affect the market now that people can no longer stack drops yeah. and you only get one and now you have to chase it in the secondary market. So, yeah, well, it's going to be interesting too. I think that's why it's a good tester, but I agree. I don't want the system now, but the problem is, is that some people still think we still have the bots. They just don't, they're just not going for any of the, um, the drops <laughs> because they suck. Yeah. Some people have said that and I'm like, I'm not too sure. What do you think? Do you think that, we still have bots. I mean, I think we still have some. I mean, you know. Oh yeah, we, uh, we still have still, some. Yeah, we but do you think? Some? I don't Sorry, think yeah. it's. Uh, I, don't, I just don't think it's. It's. It, it, you know, once transfers come back, though. Right. Yeah, once transfers come back, that's going to change stuff. Because what's happening right now yeah. is if because the bots, what they do is they you know bought the drop, they sell it immediately or transfer to a different account, and they pretty much stop using that account forever, redo it. You know, they they find a way to transfer the gems and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. either, either that or through a collectible, but it's just, it's just too much to hand. It's probably just too much work for them to, to really be, to be worth it at this point, especially since, you know, I, I do think new accounts get shadow banned, quote unquote. I made a video on that where, um, oh, yeah. if, you're going, if you're going for a drop on an extra phone, you just can't, you can, you can interact with the market. You can buy and sell stuff, but you can't yeah. interact with the drops. So it's not until you load up gems. So now bots, people that are botting are forced to basically put five gems in each time they want to make a new account and that's just not sustainable for them potentially. No, it's just a pain in the so, ass. I would think too. Yeah. So yeah, I, Henry I think asks if 11 million Omi is shark status. <laughs> that's a lot of Omi, my friend. That is a lot of Omi. Yeah. yeah but go on. Yeah. No, but uh, I think that's it. So uh, do, do we still have some bots? Sure. Are they flying under the radar? Either they, they dodge the bands or um, people are, or people that are botting are just that dedicated to keep putting money in. Maybe. Um, but I mean, you can't deny the fact that it's like even the VVOGs, which I would take their word for it. They're like, it, it wasn't like this till like August, you know, September, whatever it was like, basically all the time before golden moments where people yeah. could just buy, 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 you know, maybe, you know, it's not sitting in the store for like three, four days, like the very early days of VV, but you know, sure. it's yeah. like middle 2021. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't mind them just doing a test drop with, with the VV logo. Like, I think that's fine. Um, if they need to do another test, like that's fine. Maybe for like a generic comic or like a whatever comic that's not a significant sure. FA. That's fine. I think they should test it up to the point where it's like, all right, cool. We know we can implement it if needed. We don't need it right now, but we it's in our back pocket in, until we get to the point where, all right, now we genuinely have a million people on the app and probably Q system is beneficial for most people. So, yeah, yeah, I would agree That's with that. Totally. Totally yeah, makes sense to me. Totally. I just, yeah, yeah. Just don't, don't implement it fully so we can keep getting multiples. <laughs> Collectibles are high risk, Bob sales. You don't want to lose too much. I know what you're saying there, Bob Sales. <laughs> oh my God. They got James Gunn already there. So maybe he can he can be the guy. Oh, so this is for DC. Uh, the guy to direct some things. Uh will be hard to find another Kevin Feggy, but I hope it happens. Well, you know, at least they have the blueprint, right? So yeah. I wanted to ask you too about there was a whole lot of talk yesterday about competition, right? Now we all, you know, we like competition, right? In the app. I mean, we're talking about bat cows and we're talking about, yeah. we haven't talked about HRO today, which is no big deal. I mean, I don't know. You said you're, you're, you're getting some, right? Or did, did you say you're getting some soon? Uh, I'm on the fence. You have about a pre-order in or anything, or have you, have you already bought? Cow. I can't remember. I've already bought 10. Bat yeah. Cow. You've already bought 10, right? So <laughs> yeah, I've already boxes bought I, I'm on the fence. Of, I, yeah, I'm on the fence about it. I, I probably end up pulling the trigger. We'll see just for fun. Um, cause oh, you, you just don't know, right? The bat cows, or is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, for like the bat cows, because you just don't know, right? And if they are genuinely going to bake the cutoff, I think last I heard was like May 3rd. And sure. let's say they only sell half or they sell 120,000. I mean, now that's infinitely less than they thought they had. Yeah. Um, 
what you know whatever is going to uh, happen or maybe they airdrop the rest to, to the other people that maybe invested more whatever they're going to do who, who knows what they're actually going to do with the extras um but yeah i, I think competition is is fine and, and if anything i don't really view it as like it's not they're competing in different ways. Um, I'll be honest, like right now, any new money I'm putting into an NFT project is going to be new, knowing that like I can make a bigger return quicker because right now just the market on VV is just kind of down. It's chilly, right? You're putting on your scarf. It's cold. It's, you know, uh, it's you ice know, it's cold. It's ice cold <laughs> right now. But, you know, part of me is just like, oh, I when I was on HRO, because right now I'm kind of just using HRO as a vehicle to just generate a lot of money in a short amount of time and then just put it back into VV. Like, yeah. to be quite honest, I'm kind of upset <laughs> with myself that I didn't buy 10 of the digital packs when sure. I had the chance. Because I could have sold the, because when it, right when I was hitting like 750, 800, I'm like, you know what? Like, I think this is a good high point to start selling. I mean, you know, hindsight's 2020, but it's like, cool, if I would have sold 10 of them at eight, make eight grand in profit and then just, you know, cash out, which I think cash out takes about three weeks on HRO. But even okay, then yeah. it's like, Hey, I just spent 500 bucks. I made eight grand or, you know, after fees and stuff, it's probably 750. It's awesome. Money. It's like, that would have been awesome, but I didn't do that. I bought two packs. I'm just holding them forever. Uh, cause I, yeah. cause packs are deflationary forever. They're going to keep going down and down and down. Yeah. But the less, least, the more the people open them. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, I, I, at least competition wise, I think the most important thing right now is just, we just need to bring awareness to like NFTs, the value of them, get more people on board with crypto, um, and all that stuff. So I think all these other projects are appealing to different kinds of people with different interests, people that like DC, people that like card trade. Cause honestly, like, like VV is just compared to HRO. It's like, there's no card collecting aspect on VV right now, but yeah. there's HRO and there's a lot of bleed over with different NFT communities in and amongst each other. So I, I really think that like if HRO stays in their lane and like the card collecting aspect, and if they do some sort of gamification in there, they'll probably do better than Vivi in that one aspect of card collecting and gamification. But Vivi yeah. is trying to do like 27 different things at once right now. So that's why <laughs> yeah. they're kind of lacking in certain at like, believe it or not, you know, it's like, that's why they're kind of lacking in the MTL, the web platform and all that other stuff. Cause they're trying to do a whole bunch of things, including licensing when HRO right now, they just have DC. I think they have more licenses too. Um, sure, but they're just not going to release until later. But yeah. um, I feel like that's they kind started of the small. They're they're not in all the yeah. countries too, right? So you know, yeah, they're, yeah, they're only in four countries yeah. too. So it's like that's that's it. So they started small and kind of worked out from there. So so they've had infinitely less hurdles uh, to deal with compared to to VV uh, for the exactly. most part. So, um, Check it out, man! New comic just announced: oh, Captain America. First, and Wolverine, their first ever battle, uh, annual number eight. Check it out. <laughs> nice. Then I'm a huge Wolverine Thanks, fan. Pay Pay for that, by the way. Pay Pay is the one who showed us that. Thank you so much mm -hmm. in the chat. So it, I, every time I do a drop on, uh, sorry, a live stream on Wednesday, we get a comic drop announced. So that's cool. So this is mm -hmm. pretty cool. Look at the Seeker Rare over there. That's kind of fun. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm a huge uh, Wolverine fan. Super limited edition vibes. Super 10, limited. Pieces. So, wow. I think, it's, I think super limited, that verbiage is, it's got to be 10,000, right? Because we've always been getting 30s recently. It's, yeah, but, but it could be, is it Spider-Man 252 super limited? Or was that like ultra extreme limited? Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what the, the, the terminology on that. I think on it's, that. It sounds like it's a 10,000, not a 1,000 mid run. Okay, so it's going to be on par with the... VV Spider Man 252. Let's just go right to it. Come on, we can bring this up. What does it say? Extreme limited. Mm -hmm. This is this super limited. So I think it's 10,000. <laughs> so you gotta look it, at the super, the extreme. You gotta look yeah. at the adjectives. It's important. Which which ones which ones higher, everybody? Extreme or super? Should we uh, thesaurus that or go or should we dictionary that? <laughs> I would assume extreme sounds has an X in it. So it sounds more extreme. Yeah. Extreme. So, okay. So super limited was probably the 10,000. Well, let's check it out. So what was the last 10,000 drop we had? So we had, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Marvel spotlight. No, 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 no. Um, strange was, tales, uh, strange, strange tales. tales, strange tales. Yeah. Let's go. Strange tales. VV. Strange tales. Go. There we go. Strange tales. 180. Okay, uh, super limited. There you go, right there, everybody. Confirmed, Confirmed on stream. It's another strange minutes. tale with the 250 uh, edition secret rare. Mm -hmm. Confirmed right here on stream, everybody. I don't know. <laughs> Just yeah. What also goes to say? So let me look at the. So how many mints does the secret rare have in a super rare? 
250. 250? Oof. Yeah, so if we go down Even. here, we can look at um, 10,000 total editions. This is, you know, the Strange Tales mm -hmm. with the Super Rare or whatever. Yeah. 250 on the Secret Rare Edition, which will most likely, I mean, they have to go by the same terminology, right? The yeah. Super Limited Edition right there. So mm -hmm. there we go. We have Super Limited Edition. So... There you go, everybody. Get ready for a 250 Secret Rare Captain America Wolverine comic. So this comic will be fun. Look at the different variations. Look at all three of these. Look almost exactly the same. They're all the same covers, all four. It's a different colorway, think, except for the Secret Rare. That's weird. That's that's Yeah, weird. I think the, the Rare and the Ultra Rare is just slightly more not modernized. I mean, you can see sure. uh, Captain America's head is tilted in a different way. and The, the gleaming on Wolverine's... Um, claws and it almost looks like a small i don't want to say well, explosion it's like a redrawn it's just, they just redrew yeah, it it looks like so they have the original cover art and mm -hmm. then the, the rare and the the the, the ultra rare are just like the same just yeah. they, they just redrew it in a nicer way like if the ultra rare is over here colored in the left that's pretty rad and there's only going to be uh 500 of them right <laughs> that's that's right oh so, i mean I think we're at 250 i mean and yeah. then it has captain america and wolverine i'm a huge wolverine fan personally oh big uh, time yeah well you know I, we saw wolverine behind david Yu yesterday we saw him before wolverine number one so mm -hmm. and now we've gotten two wolverine uh you know on in the comics we got this you know we're getting this one and then of course he was on the captain america so the captain america series that we just had had wolverine in there twice one mm -hmm. with the Spider-Man. That's another secret rare that I want. The one with him and Spider-Man together. That looks pretty cool with the black suit. So that's pretty rad. Thanks, uh, Pay Pay, for bringing that, that up. Is, that is one I like. Th today's comic, I, I probably bought too many. I probably should have stuck to just like, all right, one or two on each phone and that's it. But this one, I will definitely be just buy, buy, buy. I will try because it's a limited run. Um, I, I, I think even the, the comments will they'll probably go below box price, but it'll be a little bit closer to like six gems. We'll see. Maybe yeah. seven. We'll see. Sure. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, this one on the common now is really good. Like just the common, yeah. you can stack the common here and be happy because there's like 5,000 of them or whatever it is. How many commons are there? 6,000 commons. 6, so yeah. those are the kind of numbers that people like. So you'll stack them up or, or the uncommon if you want. Yeah, no, this is, this will be fun. I like this one. I'm going to go into this one pretty good uh definitely going after that one for sure just because of the additions and of course the content i mean it's rad look at michael right here said his comic shop owner got him into vv he had just submitted like 20 ultimate fallout 4 comics to cgc the uh, grading company wow. that's mm -hmm. funny so michael so it's the reverse so your comic book that's really cool your comic book shop owner told you about vv which you know isn't my experience yet which is going into the mm -hmm. comic shops and it's usually the other way around um, but yeah, that's, that's good. They, you know, a comic shop owner can sell VV when we had transfers, you could sell your VV comics oh, yeah. on the app and then just like, you know, and then just transfer to your, your store owner, your customers. Right. Yeah. And you're saving both sides money, right? Cause he, he can dodge yeah. the fee and then you can, you know, and all that stuff. So cap annual. So why we're getting captain America stuff here again. Mm -hmm. So can I show you something right here? I'm going to show you yeah, the, uh, like, so check this out. This is what I, my theory is. Okay. This is what my theory is. I'll go. I bought all these comics, Invaders Comics. There we go. Okay, so this series right here, I own a bunch of them. Okay, the Invaders. Okay, so if you Invaders. haven't heard of the Invaders, this is them I've here. Not. Oh, let me just. Oh, okay. let me actually like uh, share the screen. I'm talking about it. I don't even share the screen. So mm -hmm. this is the Invaders right here. Okay, so let me just um, bring this up. See if I can get a. Okay, I want to look at the cover big. There we go. Can we zoom in on this a bit? Okay, so this go. is the invader. Get rid of this. What is this big bear? Okay. That's good. <laughs> so I bought a, a ton of these comics a couple years ago when Captain America, you know, went back in time. And if you haven't watched Endgame, everybody, I'm sorry, but this is a spoiler alert. So just, you know, beware. You know, Captain America goes back, you know, to drop off all the stones at the end of the movie. And then, you know, he disappears and then we don't see him. And then he shows up all the second later and he lived an entire life in the alternate timeline with Peggy, right? They show him go back. And we got that Captain America comic with him and Peggy, you know, recently, right? And they're like, you know, so he got to live the life that he always wanted, but that created, now we know if you watch the Loki show, we know now that that created an alternate timeline, right? A mm -hmm. whole total timeline with, a, with an alternate variant of Captain America. 
And then that Captain America came back to the original timeline when he's old and said, well, you know, I had a great life and all that. We don't know where he is now. He's still old. He's not dead. So he's in the, he's in the movies right now. Like he's in the MCU timeline as an old Captain America, but he lived an entire life and he, he brought a shield for, um, you know, Sam Wilson, which was different than his shield that got destroyed. Remember Thanos busted it up. So this comic series is Captain America, like, you know, with the Submariner who we just got recently in the Captain mm -hmm. America, we saw him on the cover holding his shield and the original human torch, which is the guy on the cover of Marvel comics one. That's not the fantastic four human torch. That's a different human torch. Everybody completely different person. This is them fighting a bunch of stuff in the Nazi world war two eras a whole different storyline with Bucky and everybody an alternate, like it's not an alternate timeline that um, this is just original Captain America stuff. So my theory, okay. And this is like my, this is what I do. Everybody, you might be <laughs> bored with this, but stick with me. My thought was, was that because of what happened in Endgame, this particular comic series, I think is what's going to happen. We're going to get Captain America showing his whole life, his alternate timeline life that he did. What oh, was he doing okay. that whole life with Peggy? And we got the Submariner now showing up. I know he's probably, he's going to be in um, Black Panther, uh, the second one. He's the main sort of, he's not a villain, but he's like the main antagonist in Black Panther too. Like they've already confirmed it. It's 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 uh, the Submariner. And he interacts with the Fantastic Four all the time. But anyway, we got this human torch from the Marvel comics. So this whole series right here is him back in time doing all sorts of other stuff, right? And I think mm -hmm. that this is kind of a, a, an interesting skeptic. Like I'm, this is me just, you know, this is me totally like, you know, what do you call the word? Speculating. Thank you. Speculating. Bye. <laughs> Speculating on this potential series could show up. You know, they could pull stories from this because this is what he does. He goes back to that exact time period. Now he's fighting Nazis and all sorts of people and uh, has a whole life. So that, that I bought a lot of these invader comics in speculation only. So when I see stuff like this happening with Captain America starting to show up now on these, you know, I see the Submariner the other day, right? And I, and I see Peggy and Captain America hugging. I start to really, it, mm -hmm. I bought the comics three or four years ago. Wow. So I'm, I'm like, you know, so who knows? Maybe it's nothing, but that's sort of the way my mind works. And, um, but that's what VV can do for you, right? It can drop mm -hmm. you in. So if you go into the real world and you get those comics, if they drop an invaders storyline, or if they say, we're going to talk about Captain America's alternate life now, maybe that comic goes, you know, goes pop right and then i can we'll sell see. it on eBay, right so anyway <laughs> sorry well, i went on a tangent there but that's no, how no, it's an interesting story works. and i think that's a good connection based on like what is all you know um i think vv marvel is talking about uh you know some origin stories right so origin stories are what have been people doing for this long period of time where they're just uh uh missing right so yeah what was he doing that whole time he was living a mm -hmm. life he had a new shield that shield was like new Right. And he yeah. gave it to now that shield is brought from the alternate timeline given and given to Sam. And mm -hmm. that's not the same shield that he just got his butt kicked with Thanos with. Right. So yeah, obviously definitely. he went back and, you know, so <laughs> there's Frank saying he minted a bat cow on the public sale went live. I'm waiting to see how many are minted by May the 2nd. So yeah, it looks like they're May the 2nd or 3rd. Oh, there's the reveal day is May the 3rd. So we'll see what mm. cow I got. And um, if the mint number's still low, he might buy a second. Yeah, so Whoa. once, so okay, so we only have a, what is that, a week? And we'll see how many are sold. Now, if, if people don't buy them, then there's gonna be not that many of them. Yeah. Right, because I don't think, I think this is what they said, they, they just cut it off. So that's interesting. Mm -hmm. And Bob loves any cover with Wolverine. You're a big Wolverine fan, like he said. Mm -hmm. Wolverine must be coming to VV. If we get the 3D character of Wolverine, everybody, uh, yeah ignite the house <laughs> yeah do we, do we want the um okay yeah because because he, he had that outfit on right he had the uh that classic one of the orange and um or like it's technically red and yellow or are we talking about oh the, yeah he's got the original sort of uh well it's 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 just like mid 80s outfit yeah it's the wolverine mm, it's the, the wolverine mid 80s that's the same outfit that's behind david right like that kind of not the original mm -hmm. yellowy kind of one that's on hulk 181 where he's like really bright yellow like the the yeah. uh, the uh x-men uh but yeah, yeah that's, yellow, kinda, that's his most known sort of uh classic 80s wolverine sort of look that he had you know i'm, I'm, uh, I'm still a huge fan of that uh that one episode run of the pride of x-men and i think it was 89 
If you haven't seen it, it's on YouTube. You can literally just YouTube Pride of X-Men episode. They had a one episode run. Um, I was trying to remember, but I love the animation. I kind of like that animation a little bit more than like the, the actual X-Men cartoon that came out in the early 90s. But yeah. it's a one episode run. I guess it didn't do well, but it was it was a fun episode. I liked it. Oh, totally. Right. Stephen B. Smith always lays He's it here. out just the way he says waitlist only yeah. benefits the rich and the whales not needed if bots are handled. Yes. <laughs> if the bots are handled, I don't want it. Yeah. I don't know about the benefiting the rich or anything like that, but I don't want it because I can get stuff right. Bots exactly. are training for May. <laughs> <laughs> They're just in the background, just pumping it up. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Star yeah. Wars. <laughs> Uh, I love how they didn't change the image much for the rare and ultra rare. Such a classic cover. Can't mess with it too much. Yeah. You know, there is that, right? They redrew mm -hmm. it in a newer style with a, with a, with a exclusive artist. That's cool because you know, and you know, like you can have that too. It goes to the, it looks like the original cover too. I do like the variations though. Cause then there's a real differentiation uh, yeah. between them. So I thought they were all the same cover until I looked a little bit closer. I, I would have loved so. if they showed it from Captain America's perspective. So they just took the image, but they just flipped it. So now Captain America is the one in the front and Wolverine's like slashing, you know, if they yeah. basically instead of having Wolverine on the left and Captain America on the right, basically flip the image. Yeah. So it's like, you, you're seeing just the, the ferocity, like the front portion of Wolverine just slashing and like Captain America just trying to block it. I think that would have been cool too. Oh, totally. Now, like what, what's stronger vibranium or animantium? <laughs> I'm pretty sure vibranium. He shielded vibranium like, and his body is animantium or whatever they call it. Oh, true. Right, yeah. Look at my buddy QB Beats. This is my hometown buddy here in town. QB, he's we work together in design and everything. And he's the one who like got me into NFTs and stuff. He started buying Funkos. Oh no, uh -oh. he did QB Beats. Uh, now he has like 30 to 40. He doesn't know where to put them. And he has to hide them from his kids. I know. Oh my God, QB. <laughs> You oh know, see, God. right? He, he knows me because of uh, when we were working together at the graphic design office, I'd have like, I'd be buying vintage toys on eBay. They'd show up every two days in my office. I'd be sitting there like working and he'd be in the other spot working. And then be, like, mm -hmm. a mail, the guy would show up, the delivery guy and be like, oh, two more boxes for, and then my boss would be like, oh, okay. Is this a package for the business? Like, no, it's for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know because i was like buying vintage toys so once you go down that road uh qb beats there you go you're <laughs> by the way you guys should check out his channel he's a great musician by the way great musician just so you know and there we go <laughs> Ten thousand. that's how they describe it extreme limited was the other name yeah yeah for sure mm -hmm. <laughs> if we have bots they'll go for this one yeah that might be a good tester you're right maybe they're uh hiding out in the background but i really think that they've yeah. really made it kind of like not so beneficial for people who are and all the, and the bot guy ripped everybody off apparently right whoever that dude with yeah. that story where he like totally scammed his own everybody like you mm -hmm. know that's what i mean you, you take your chances right and simone how you doing simone i always like the reader comments it's really goofy for vv to drop such a crap collectible for 70 <laughs> gems like at least do for a single collectible drop and make it a secret rare or ultra rare i hope i'm saying that the way you're you're writing it simone yeah. but yeah oh, hey, hey, that, if that's good. how you feel if that's how you feel <laughs> yeah i mean it, it, to, to you be honest that vibe, you think it's a crappy drop uh, it's with the current market sentiment sure honestly if this thing would have dropped in january it would have sold out it would have gone above box price it's just right now the market sentiment isn't isn't feeling well, it to be to well you know what it was and I'll, I'll read bones in a second but we talked about this in the ama there was a good point brought up i can't remember who brought it up it wasn't me but mm -hmm. the point was is that people aren't putting gems in the app yeah. like money so what they're doing is they're selling what they have to go after stuff they want. That's why all these prices are dropping because people mm -hmm. aren't dropping a bunch of money into the app. They're just like selling whatever they got. And then it's so it's, everything is getting the same. You know, people are obviously putting gems in the app. I mean, obviously they are, but not at the level we would have seen. So like, yeah, that's why you see these. It's not because people don't like the collectibles they have. They're just having to make choices and they're not wanting to put money in. I think that's mm -hmm. I think that was a really good point. I would love to give credit who brought that up in that um, the Twitter space. I who said I mean, it. So I many What's that? So I, I don't remember who it was either, but it was a good point. That it was a great point. It's like, yeah, because that's, and then it made me realize, well, that's what I'm doing, right? Like mm -hmm. I haven't really been piling in a thousand gems, even, even buying gems cheaper or whatever that people can still do, you know, with doing it the right way with trusting people and all that. I haven't done that either. But, um, mm -hmm. and so, yeah, when I want to go after this comic, I have to sell something. 
right? Or, you know, there'll be certain things like if Star Wars does come, I will put money in the app. I mean, I'm not going to mess around. I'm not going to liquidate my Superman to go after like Darth Vader. I'll just go after Darth Vader or whatever, right? Yeah, so, exactly. And I'll put a thousand dollars in. I don't care because it's Star Wars, right? And a comic like this, you know, I, I throw a hundred gems at this comic, like real world money. I throw a hundred bucks in there to go for yeah. like the secret rare maybe. And, you know, mm -hmm. I'd have to obviously get higher than 100 gems, but you know what I'm saying, right? So uh, this will be this will be a 500 gem comic, the secret rare easy, I think. I mean, if you look at the Strange Tales, it's uh, 250 editions and it's going for like about 300 and some 300 or so. And that's Gamora. This is Captain America and Wolverine. Yes, two big right? characters. Not yeah. first appearances, but yeah. But uh, you're still cool to hang out, right, Vibes? You just say if you got to go and get. Yeah, I was actually going to say I have to leave in like five or ten minutes. So, but we yeah, I just chat. realized how long we were on here. I got to do yeah. some drop head giveaways pretty soon too. But look at Bones B. He had no idea Funko had been doing NFT drops since August of 2021. Do you know about this? Have you bought any? So I I don't own any of their actual NFTs, Bones. But they had like um, not figures, but they had like Funko sort of like cards or something. And mm -hmm. I think on the Wax system, right? I think that's where they had them. If I'm I might be wrong about that, but oh, yeah, I'm not sure either. I was aware a bit of it, but I wasn't interested at all. So you just mm. bought one of those yourself. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Invaders is a cool series anyway. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Jerry. So vibes. Okay, man. Well, you know, it's been fun hanging out. You might as well boot out of here, I guess. If you, sure. what do you have to do? You got stuff to do or like you got to go get uh, something to eat probably. I'm getting pretty hungry actually. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm, so one, I'm getting hungry too. I, I, Again, one thing it's like I, I try to hit the gym in the morning, like before the drop, but then it's yeah. like I always cut it too close. I don't want to have good internet when I do it sometimes. But uh yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll just skip the drop with uh with the eye of Agamotto or whatever, just hit the gym and just be fine with like, all right, I'm not playing yeah. the drop, so I can I could skip it. I don't need fast internet because I'm just skipping it, right? Well, you don't uh, have to go for everything. That's the cool thing about yeah, it. Exactly. It's not like we have to go for every drop. I don't go for every drop, but I'm going for this comic. I'm getting yeah, more and more strength. And I, th I think the rarity alone too will also just give it additional value. So uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty fun, but yeah, man, if you're around the next time I'm doing my stream, stop by and uh, you're, you're going to be live streaming later today. Probably you think, I know you said yep. you kind of run on a, if you feel like it's schedule, right. But you, you're pretty consistent. Yeah. I haven't seen you in the last uh, uh, live streaming in the last day or so though. Right. Have you, you've put out some cool uh, videos. I live I'm going to watch your I video. Live so. Yeah, I live streamed yesterday. I mean, for probably a little over an hour, not too long. It was mostly just a watch party for the the be the update oh, video, right? Where they're talking yeah. about this, that, you know, all that stuff. So totally, um, yeah. We're kind of just playing that live and stuff, but um, yeah. yeah. Well, if you're on exactly. later today, anyway, just follow vibes, everybody. See if he's on. It's always good fun. I'm usually there, like I said, lurking in the background. <laughs> We'll maybe well, maybe if you're on later, maybe we continue the conversation. Maybe I jump on and uh, and bother you there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah. Well, th thanks for having me on. I'll let you go. Hopefully, we can both eat soon. So, because my stomach yeah. is growling just a little okay, bit. Okay, everybody, so. say bye to Vibes. Thanks, man. We'll see yeah, you. I'm gonna do some drop head giveaways, so stick around. But uh, but thanks, Vibes. We'll see you again, right. man. It's always yeah. great to talk to you. <laughs> All right, cheers. There he is, you guys. VV Vibes, the man. We love chatting to him. He's the first guy I ever did a live stream with too, right? He had his own and I went on. And so there we go. Uh, <laughs> how you doing? Double Kin. Hey, my collectibles. It's been a while. I've been wanting to collect some comics in the real life. I'm curious if they make comic variants for real because yesterday's Silver Surfer covers were crazy. Yeah, they definitely have variants, especially in the last 10 to 20 years. Lots of variants. Go down to your local comic book shop. That's the best way. Talk to the owners, you know, see what's good, see what you like, you know, that's the best way to do it. And then you can like, you know, check out what's coming new. Go on to uh, Marvel Comics, like just Google it, see, see what's coming new. Like you can, you can search new, new issues that are coming out. Like if you just Google Marvel Comics and stuff and you can like check it out and get into it again, it's pretty fun. Or you can go for the old school stuff and just go to eBay and look up like some of the key older issues. So it's super fun. Uh, have fun with it. Good to see you again, right? So Bob Sales, I'm buying a Wolverine collectible in utility if possible. No doubt. <laughs> Michael, that video with Wolverine has a has an Australian voice. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's a good one, right? Bob sales not utility buying multiples on uh, how phone uh, 
Oh, sorry. I have to reread this here. I always think it should be five different covers. Yeah, maybe, right? Like different kinds of covers, right? So <laughs> it's just laziness changing the color of the title. Yeah. So this looks like they redrew, which is cool. So it's the same pose, but it's the redrawn version of it. So thoughts on the back cows, Michael James, I bought one today. We were talking about it a little bit earlier, so I definitely got one. I didn't get on the pre-sale, but I got one today. I'm I'm going in on the project just for fun, just one. I'm going to test it out, see how I like it. So I went after it, uh, Michael. Are you going to go after it? <laughs> Beats 96. Anyone see the Chip and Dale's trailer with a bunch of the Golden Moment characters from that drop in it? I haven't seen that. I'll check that out. That's cool. We're going to do the giveaways right now, Simone. Let's get this going. We've chatted too much. Not too much, but we chatted a lot. So let's get this going. Let's do some drop head giveaways, everybody. Let's have some fun and then we'll boot out of here. <laughs> we'll see if we can get you guys some new ones. We got 10 to do today. So here we go. We're going to do it right now. Thanks so much, Simone, for giving us the boost. Okay. Let's check it out. Let me just get on here first. Uh, I got to get this set up. So give me a second here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that Captain America comic should be pretty cool. I'm pretty happy about it. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go drop heads right here. Okay. Okay, let's go. So we got, here's the, here's the winners right here. So like I said, let's just quickly go through this. In case people don't know what I'm talking about with drop heads. This is the NFT collection I created for the channel for members and anyone else who wants to get them. But members get one for free. So if you're not a member of the channel, just join. It's a buck. You get a free drop head NFT. They're on the open sea. They're legit. They're full on. I created it. We've been given a lot away. We've sold like over 300 and something of them now and uh, given away just as many. So lots of people have them. We're having lots of fun. And like I said, if you're already a member and you own a drop head, make sure you just, if you want other ones, submit the offer of 0 0.002 ETH, okay? The, the, the price is 0 0.005. But if you're a member and you have one, you can submit this offer. You can get anyone you want. I will accept it, right? No worries. It's just for fun, everybody. And just so you know, in May, I'm creating some merch for you guys. I'm going to do some shirts and stuff. So that's coming up in a bit. So that's going to be fun, right? We'll do some giveaways on that. And I'll put them out. We'll do some other stuff. This is just a little sample, right? But it's going to be super fun. That's coming up, right? That's in May. So you can check out the full roadmap on my website, mycollectibles.net. It's got the roadmap there. I always updating it, but here we are. We've gone through the first bunch with the server launch. So if, if you're a member, right, you're in the Discord server. If you're not a member, join and you get in the server. We're having lots of fun in there. And we do other stuff. We talk about all sorts of stuff. And it's not just for drop heads. It's for my channel, right? And then the pre-collection was the 11th. So we did a big draft that day and we handed out ones to members. So by the way, if you're a member and you, we still have ones assigned to you that you may not have collected. So go to the Discord server, get in there, and uh, all you need is an OpenSea account, which is free, and a MetaMask, and we can shoot one over you. I made a video about how to do that. And then the full collection is now just up on the OpenSea for anyone to go after if they want, right? So like I said, we're going to have some like merch stuff coming out. That's going to be fun. All right. I, this is the back cows I talked about, obviously, earlier. Here's the members of my channel that still have not claimed their drop head from the original draft day. Now we had like, you know, almost 300. So uh, this is like probably about 50 or 60 or so. So they're always assigned to you unless someone buys them now. So you can always just, just claim it. Right. So that's what's going on. And here we go. I'm going to record the winner. So I'm going to do it in the chat right now. Like we always do. So let me just actually go out here and go back to the actual screen of the drop head so here they are on the open sea everybody like i said we're just gonna do the randomizer right here all right now there's 5500 of them this is what we're gonna do right so i hit this number we'll look at the drop head i'll just do the chat thing i'm gonna scroll in the chat if you win i'm gonna add your name to the to my list right there and, uh, and then you just claim it after on the Discord server, or if you're not on Discord, Instagram, Twitter, you just give me your uh, wallet address and everything, and we'll do it there. The links for Instagram and Twitter are in my description, right, of the video. So let's get at it, everybody. Who's ready for this? Here we go. <laughs> we got 69 people in here. Let's get one here. We got number 3164. This is great. Let's go. 3164. Okay. <laughs> Here she is right here, everybody. Who's going to get this beautiful girl? 
she's got the truck. She's funny, right? So I'm closing my eyes. I'm scrolling up. I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling up. I'm stopping right there in the chat. Who do we got? We got my buddy QB Beats. You just want to drop head, my friend. <laughs> You just got this one to add to your stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to write this down for you. Uh, QB beats. You got number, uh, which number is this one again, right here? Let me just go. This is number 3164. Okay. 3164. So you know how to get that QB beats. You know how to do it. All right. Let's go again, everybody. Let's random it up. Boom. Nine. 947 here we go 947 oh we got another lovely lady right here with the drop box she's shocked that she got it number 947 that one's good let's go again in the chat just make a comment in the chat everybody just a single comment not a big paragraph and then i will just i'm just gonna blindly scroll so what i'm doing okay is i take my mouse i just scroll up and down and up and down and randomly and then i just stop and wherever my mouse lands in the chat, that's who wins. That's how it works, okay? In case you haven't done this before. <laughs> so I'm scrolling now. I'm up. I'm down. I'm going up more. I'm coming down a bit. I'm stopping right here. Who do we got? We got your local scalpers in the house. There we go. You just won this one, my friend. This is number 947. Okay, so I'm just going to make a note of that. Local scalper. 947. Nicely done. We got two now. Let's keep it going, everybody. <laughs> We're going to do this fast. Let's go. Let's generate it. Number 4076. 4076 right here. Boom. Load it up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This funny dude. <laughs> 4076, everybody. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes and scroll again. You guys ready? Let's do this. Here we go. I'm scrolling up, scrolling down, scrolling up, 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 up. I'm going to go up really far. I'm going to come down a little bit. I'm going to stop right there. And who do we got right here? We got Christian J won this one again. Christian J, you're my friend. You got it, number 4076. You've won this once or twice, I think, right, Christian? 4076. There we go. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> okay everybody let's go again we got 10 of these to do you know let's go 3599 let's go right here 3599 let's see right here oh here we go nicely done <laughs> this guy's got the market is closed right here let's see who gets this one right here Let's close our eyes. I'm going to scroll. Make sure you make a comment. I'm scrolling right now, closing up and down, up and down, up, over, over. I'm stopping right there. And who got this one? We got Space Cat. Space Cat, you win this one right here, my friend. There you go. $35.99 for Space Cat. Nicely done. That's number four, Space Cat. And this is number three. 3599. There we go, Space Cat. So like I said, claim these in Discord, everybody, or on Instagram and Twitter. No worries. All you need uh, to get this is a MetaMask wallet or a Coinbase wallet. And then you can also have your, you know, an OpenSea account. So you can look at it and stuff. And it just I just send it over to you after the stream, right? So it's pretty simple. 2947. There we go. Let's check it out. If you guys don't know how to do that stuff, just watch my video on how to buy NFTs on the OpenSea. It's from a few days ago or about a week ago tells you exactly how to do it so this is the number here 2947 there we go everybody oh we got the tune punk we got a tune punk everybody there we go <laughs> this guy's hilarious you know you can do whatever you want with these these are 100 owned by you once it's sent to you like i said do whatever you want with the artwork everybody it's 100 yours digital rights everything right so i'm scrolling up I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling up and down. I'm stopping right there. And who do we got right here? We got GT, man. Let's go, GT, man. You just won number 2947. Let's go. Let's go, GT, man. 2947. <laughs> That's good. You guys can list these for sale in the open sea if you want to. Do whatever you want. Like I said, just do whatever you want with them. 
they're yours, right? These are legit real NFTs. Just, you know, they're yours. <laughs> I love it. I just, you know, that's, that's the whole point of an NFT is complete freedom of ownership. Three, three, five, nine, right there. Right. So three, three, five, nine, be creative, everybody. Oh, we got a beanie dude here. Here we go. He's stoked. He got the truck. Who wants a beanie dude? Let's go. <laughs> okay. I'm going to scroll the chat again. I'm going up, going down. I'm going up. I'm going to stop right here, everybody. And this one is Miss Rose. You just won beanie dude, Miss Rose. There you go. Thanks for coming. 3359 for Miss Rose. There we go. Congratulations, 3359. I'm making a note. By the way, I'm making a note of who won, and I will post the winner results. I'll show you in just a sec again the winner results, and then I will post it in the, the Discord server as well, right? So there we go, Miss Rose. Congrats on winning him, Mr. Beanie. <laughs> Let's go. 4106. Let's check this out. 4106. There we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> she's not feeling so good. Oh my gosh. She's got the stoned eyes and the tuned mouth. She's not feeling so good at all, everybody. Okay, let's go here. We're going to scroll up. I'm scrolling down. Make your comment, everybody. Scrolling up, and I'm stopping right there. And right here, who do we got? We got Dimitri. How you doing? You win her. She's great. There you go. Dimitri wins number 4106. There we go. 4106. Okay, I got that. We got three more to go, everybody. Three more to go. <laughs> Hope you guys are having fun. I love giving these away. These are the best. That's random number generate. Here we go. 3080. Okay, here, let's go. We're going to reload this right here. Sometimes the open C gets kind of wonky. Okay, here we go. 3080, everybody. Oh, nice. Here we go, everybody. I like this guy. I like this guy. There we go. Let's get the chat going here. Let's see who's going to win this one. Okay, I'm going to scroll again. So I'm going up. I'm going way up now. I'm going to come down a little bit, up a little bit, down a little bit. I'm going to stop right there. And who do we got right here? We got Kayla. There you go, Kayla. You win. You win, Kayla. 3080. Congratulations to you. There we go. Kayla, 3080. Nicely done, Kayla. <laughs> He's a funny guy right there. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to the thing right here. Boom. Let's go to the generator. We got two more, everybody. 3012. That didn't go very far. There we go. 3012. Let's go here. Who do we got? Look at this guy right here. We got the Omi Punk. Omi Punk. He's not happy. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for this? Okay, give you a second to do a chat, to do a, a comment. Okay. I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll up. Scroll all the way down the bottom. I'm going to stop right there at the bottom. Who do we got here? We got BMN. BMN, you win this punky dude right here. Congratulations to you, BMN. There we go. BMN. And you win number 3012. Nicely done. Okay, who else do we got here, everybody? Let's check it out. How many more do we have here? Oh, we got one more, everybody. One more. Let's make it a big one. But this time, everybody, I'm not going to random generate. I'm going down to the to the rare zombie skin here, everybody. I'm picking a rare zombie. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm just going to pick a random rare zombie for you. This is number 10, everybody. Let's see who we got. Let's go this dude. Oh, it's owned. They're all, it's going to be hard to find one that isn't owned. Let's find a zombie to give away here. Come on, open C, load. Here we go. We got to find one that isn't owned, everybody. This is going to be difficult. The zombies are almost all owned. There we go. We got one. Okay, we got red truck number 1996. Hey, if that was your birth year, that would be cool. 96. This zombie, we're giving this guy away. Now, like I said, the zombies the zombies and skulls are uh, getting really quite rare. 
There, there's not as many available now. And the, the, the crowns, they're gone. The, the crowns are completely gone. The Laker hat, everybody, is getting close. There, there's not as many Laker hats. So we got Zombie with the blind box and the beanie. I love this one. Let's go, everybody. I'm going to close my eyes on this. Like I said, if you're a member already and you want to snag a zombie, just 0 0.002. Don't pay the 0 0.005. Make the offer because then you'll get it. For, that's the lowest price it can be sold, right? So, okay, I'm going to close my eyes. Let's go. I'm scrolling. Who's going to get the zombie? Up, down, up and around, down. I'm stopping right there. And who do we got on the zombie? We got Beats96. There you go, Beats96. You win the zombie today, number 1996. So Beats 96, you won number 1996. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> I just realized that. There we go. There we go. We got Beats 96 wins 1996. That's funny, right? Isn't that actually a coincidence? <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Are you there, Beats96, to get this one, my friend? So like I said, there we go. No way. I know. Beats96, you win 1996. That's actually kind of funny, right? That's that's you know, that's what happens on the channel. Who knows what happens, guys? That's that's the funny part. Sometimes that happens. So, like I said, if you check out the zombies, there's there's not that many of them left. Look at this dude here. He's kind of cool. If you check out, oh, if you if you were early and you're able to get a king zombie, this guy here. Okay, so Mario owns this guy. Now this is the skull, which is rare, and the crown, which is ultra rare. And he used to be a zombie because the skulls have the traits of what they were before they rotted away. So he was a zombie as well. So this one, this one is pretty rare. Everybody, that one's pretty cool. You know, so zombie crowns are cool, but you can still get a zombie. I want to see if there's a zombie hat. Just hold on a second. I haven't looked at this. So there's a zombie. Let's see how many Laker hats we have that are zombies. I don't think we have many. There's only 82 Lakers hats. There's only two. $6.99 is actually available. I should have given this one away. Oh, my God. This one's quite something, everybody. Zombie hat. Zombie with Laker hat. Last one available. <laughs> Let's give it away. You guys want to give this one away? Let's do this one now, everybody. Laker hat zombie. Last one available. I'm giving away this in the chat right now. Get your comment in. Let's go. It's the only one left. There's only two that exist. And we're going to give one away right here to you. So Let's go. Let's do this. Make your chat, everybody. Number 699. Okay, let's do this. You guys ready for this? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a second to put your chat in as I get my drink. Okay, I'm closing my eyes on this one. I can't believe this one's still available. Okay, I'm going up, I'm scrolling now, it's happening. Let's go up, down, up. I'm scrolling down, scrolling up. I'm gonna stop right there. Now, this is the winner. Here we go. Hamoon! Hamoon wins it. <laughs> there you go the moon you got number 699 zombie congratulations so that's the number 11 so we got ha moon so we did 11 everybody we did 11 now like i said go check them out if you want it's totally cool they're lots of fun like i said you can search down here through the attributes on the left if you want to check out some of the rare ones right here you can search you know so that's cool. Um, we're at 0.74 ETH traded. And uh, so we've sold like 300 and something of them and given away just as many. So it's pretty fun, right? So if you guys are interested in that, I'll just show. I'll just now I'm going to share the winners for you here. Where are the winners here? There we go. We got the winners. So we got QB Beats. Local Scalper, Christian, Space Cat, GT Man, Miss Rose, Dimitri, Kayla, BMM, Beats96, and Hamoon. Now I have one more thing to do 
you guys are the winner. So I'll put that in, in uh, Discord. Now I'm going to show the Discord server here. Okay, so hold on a sec. Because I have a giveaway going on on the Discord server right now that I said I would pick the winner here in the in uh, this. Uh, oh, let me just remove that. I'll pick the winner here in the Discord server. Okay, here we go. So let me just show this. Okay, so this is the this is our Discord server, everybody. This is our chat right here. So this is the giveaway time for the skull. All right, so everybody, this is how it happens on Discord. We do giveaways as well. So everyone, I told them to enter earlier today, put their wallet in Discord right here, and then I would randomly pick one of the people here to win this particular one on stream today. So I have to count how many entries we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So we got 35. Now we're going to just do that right here from top to bottom, generate it. Number 24. Okay, so we got number 24. Did you guys see that? I don't think you saw that. Hold on. It was number 24 in the random generator. So I have to count 24 down from the top. That's who wins here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. MVP, MPV, NFT, you won this one in the Discord server if you're here. So let me just tag you. MVP. MPV, sorry. And I'll just say winner. And I'll deal with that. I'll get that to you later. There we go, everybody. <laughs> so that's our Discord server, everybody. You can get there for sure if you want to, like, uh, become a member. And join us in the chat, right? So that's pretty fun, right? <laughs> oh my gosh that's good fun that's good fun everybody discord winner that's right there you go it's a skull for sure <laughs> no simone oh i'm so sorry yeah just a random winner right there you wanted it so bad don't worry we'll get more for you uh okay everybody i'm gonna end the stream now i really want to thank you all for coming out it's so fun to hang out with you we talked with vibes today so that was super fun and uh, stay tuned. We got more stuff coming. Like I said, check out some of the videos I posted. Watch everybody's, you know, look at some of the other people we got. Go for the drops if you want. Um, I'll see you guys really soon. You know how much I love you. And by the way, if you're, like I said, if you're in the Discord server, we'll just chat there. We'll continue to go there. And on Twitter and Instagram, follow me there. And I'll follow you back, right? Let's have some fun with this. Guys, we're cold in the app right now, but don't worry. It's just about how much patience you got. And, uh, you know, I have lots and we're getting the web app this month. Everybody, we are getting the web app, which means we are going to get like the full screen of a VB on our computers where we can then go in the market there. We're going to get more features and stuff. And once that's out of the way, it's MTL and KYC. It's all coming soon. Everybody, it's all starting to happen. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Happy collecting. We'll see you soon. Thanks again for dropping in. We'll see you. Bye. <laughs>